Welcome everybody to episode three of our Redditors campaign. We give you guys a little update as to where we're at. If you haven't been watching, which you obviously should, if not, go back and watch the previous videos. Uh, we met four adventurers. Uh, we had a small gnome, Felix, um, the half elf ranger, Jack. Uh, we have Atlas, who is an auto auto automaton. 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 <laughs> Um, <laughs> and then, um, we also have a very cocky, uh, bard confident goes by the name of Darius. Um, so these four people, they met, they were all in islands. Uh, this world that we're in has been fractured from some sort of cataclysm, uh, about 200 years ago. And they're all from separate islands coming together, supposedly for some sort of tournament, uh, which is to help their island gain, gain, uh, resources and, uh, help them in the generations coming forward. Uh, they got aboard this boat. Um, we had Jack had a full team of four. Atlas coming on with a full team of four. Uh, Darius and Felix uh, joining in solo teams were given the opportunity to present themselves as a team, which Darius decided that, that wasn't a good idea. Completely announced that he's amazing and only needs himself. Um, they proceeded on the boat. An event happened, uh, which left them scattered across a, an unknown beach. Um, they uncovered an injured... Uh, half orc, uh, which they uh, helped up to get ready to uh, find out what's going on. They encountered two other uh, people on the beach, a uh, what looked like some sort of human wizard and another half orc. Uh, a little bit of conversation back and forth. Uh, Darius trying to convince them uh, that they were from the Merchants Guild, um, which the human that he was speaking with, the human uh, wizard, was a little bit taken back and it explained that the Merchants Guild hadn't been by in decades. Um, but once quizzing them, uh, uncovering that the, the, uh, contestants here have keys, uh, these crystals that were embedded in their chest on the ship to give them uh, entrance to the tournament. Once he found that out, he, uh, kind of dismissed them and, uh, walked off with his half-orc friend down the beach. Uh, they proceeded up the dirt path, uh, came across, um, some strange foliage, which they started to then fight as it came alive. I fought some undead vinelings, um, getting access to a building, which turned out to be a chapel. So after some good problem-solving skills, um, activated a, a special statue uh, that basically became like invisible, kind of shimmered and became see-through, like an illusion, um, and a stairs downwards became uh, unveiled. Uh, without missing a beat, Darius charged his way down the stairs, um, we have uh, pretty much everybody else in the chapel as this had happened, um, except for our friend Jack, uh, <laughs> who has been in the tree uh, with his Drake Reen outside as well, uh, very cautious and wanting to make sure that they aren't uh, uh, going to get caught from the rear. So we're going to start now, and I think we, uh, we will see what Jack is doing. So let it, let's get it going. So Jack, as a reminder, let me show everybody the map. Um, you are up in a tree. Atlas has just come out to uh, call to you to let you know that they, they found something and then that they're going down into some sort of entrance um, and has gone back inside. You sent Green over to kind of protect that doorway to make sure nobody gets in the door. Um, so about 20 seconds have passed. And what would you like to do? Um, so Jack is going to actually scale down the tree and he wants to creep in the shrubbery back up to the beach to see if he can see these, um, the two figures, uh, to see if they, he wants to make sure that they're not being followed. So he wants to go see if he can lay eyes on them real quick. And if he feels like they have no intent to follow, he's going to quickly make his way into the chapel. Okay. Uh, are you bringing uh, Reen with you? Uh, Reen will stay at the door. Reen will stay at the door. Okay. All right. So just bear with me. So as you walk down the path, it is a bit of a distance down there. Um, it did take about 10 or 15 minutes of travel. Um, so you start you're making your way down there. Um, for sake of expediency, um, you get there. Um, let me just show you what you're seeing. You well, you arrived at the beach. You don't need the map for this. As you arrived at the beach, you see the human mage um, and the orc over at the corner. Uh, they're past the cart 
you'd inspected, and they're over at the corner by some bushes. And they seem like they're just digging through some bushes. Um, they don't seem to pay you any mind. They're not looking anywhere else. They're simply uh, kind of foresting through these bushes in the southwest corner of the beach. Um, I guess if they're not paying any mind. I guess can I try a like an insight check to see if I believe like okay these guys really aren't coming this way, and if I believe so, I'll dart out of here. Yeah, yeah. So roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, dirty 20. Corey. Uh, okay. So from your distance, without, without kind of pressing your luck and going right up to them to see what they're doing, unless that's what you want to do. Um, you can see that the mage is kind of more supervising while the half orc is actually uh, kind of in the bush, almost disappeared into the bush right now. But the, 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 the human is kind of stand back more of a supervisor status. You can't see what exactly they're digging at or looking at, but the orc is pretty much right in the bushes with the human kind of supervising. All right, Jack's <laughs> just going to... People eyebrow again. Sorry, go ahead. Jack's just going to um, head back and start heading towards the chapel. Okay. Good enough. Let me move you back. Bless. So, okay. So, while you're making your way back, uh, let us go to where everybody's waiting for just kidding, not under the chapel. We're going inside the chapel. Um, so right now, Darius has ran down uh, as quickly as he can, eating no mind to everybody that's upstairs. <coughs> so at this point, um, Felix, Atlas, uh, what would you like to do? Yeah, I was kind of following him behind. Okay, so you're following down this the stairs. Wait. Right, yeah, there was a ladder and then he went down and then we were at the top, right? Yep. Okay. Uh roll a dexterity check for me. <laughs> A well, scary ladder. <laughs> Mind your footing. Ow. What did you get? What's your? He, he rolled a twelve. Oh, yeah, I don't. I'm not seeing your rolls. So, rolls well. Okay, so. He goes down kind of haphazardly, his body, not exactly, it's kind of rigid, kind of straight up and down in the middle. So you kind of see this, he's almost bouncing his head and his butt off the side of the, uh, the, the kind of the channel downwards as he tries to make it down. Kind of stumbles on the last few steps and uh, he just lands and kind of rolls a little bit and hits Darius in the back of his legs. Ah. And Felix? Wait. That was that was Felix. I haven't went down the steps. Oh, sorry. I thought you said you went down. That's why I was describing. No, it but I'm happy to go down in that exact <laughs> form after. <laughs> uh, I wasn't hearing. Uh, Ryan, can you hear Felix? Hold on. Can you not hear me? Okay, sorry. My bad. I can hear you now. It auto mutes you when you join, so you were still muted. Oh, I was like, because I've been talking a lot, and I was like, like oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so, okay, so yeah, Felix, pretty much what just happened, only a little bit smoother on the transition down because of your flexible shape. Um, I'm assuming uh, do you want Gunner to roll. Uh... I was gonna say, I'm assuming Gunner's coming with you. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't need the roll because even if he hit the ground with his the way he is, he would be completely fine. So he's good. Um, and Atlas, you. Or staying or following? Well, I, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to burn through all that nice RP there, so I will uh, follow suit. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. 
Let's get you guys into the basement. So I roll into the back of Felix, then, I would say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is now a stack behind Darius. Yeah, we all just bump into Darius. How yeah. about that? Oh, oh, Why not? Oh, so, so sorry. We don't have any ladders where I'm from. Very horizontal type island. Jeez, Darius, you were going a little bit fast for us. Don't worry. We caught up. I'm not worried. I wasn't worried. I was just oh, going he, normal he speed, not which I guess was fast for you. <laughs> well, you do have longer legs, so I you indeed. Get Very long stride. stride. So, mm, what are we doing down here? I don't know. This room looks kind of cool. Uh, what's on the floor? Like, is it just a normal floor? Round. I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> okay, Felix? so... So, I want Felix and Atlas both to roll a perception check, please, as you land in the under chapel. Thirteen. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen, okay. And you both have dark vision, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So as you land, after brushing Activating yourself off, night mode. you find uh, underneath your feet where you expect kind of like dirt or rock or something, you find this really fine finished marble. The craftsmanship oh, right. is is amazing. It's it's flat right across. Um, the walls, uh, again, the craftsmanship is, is just definitely not what you'd expect for being underground like this. Uh, straight ahead, the room is som somehow still lit. It's got uh, torches burning from what you can see on the outsides. And in, uh, in the center of the room, there is a circular platform. Um, and then surrounding it, there is five, uh, five pillars with some sort of uh, spheres sitting on top of the five pillars. Okay, I want to... Just, just go in to where I am. So, like, just past the wall, and I want to look around. Who do I see? Okay. Let me open it up for you. So, because of the uh, the torches burning, from where you're standing, you do get to see pretty much the entirety of the, uh, the area. I just realized all of the chat can't see it because I'm not in it. Um, so, you get to see... Is there any specific area beyond that? It opens up. It's very mimicked. Um, it, it's got a uh, it's kind of square shape. It almost would form a circle um, to kind of mimic the inside of the middle platform. And then again, okay. the, these these platforms here, you see five spheres, um, but it looks uh, pretty immaculate. Okay. Uh, so can I tell? The original purpose and what uh, civilization might have built this place. Uh, you roll a little, yes, yes. Um, let me see here. Let us roll a history check. Fourteen. Okay. So you do. Um, you understand this is from. A, an extremely old dwarven race. Um, and if you can roll an investigation for me as well, please. 10. Okay. So with your background and research, um, you've heard about this dwarven race that they were, they were hired for only the highest end of preparation. So on, only the people of extreme wealth and notoriety would have been able to, to hire these, uh, this clan. Um, and the, the, the pedestal that you're standing right in front of, and you can see that uh, stone sphere there, you actually recognize that specific uh, type of stonework, uh, which I'm going to share something with you right now. So you recognize these to be Druktin stones? And you can take a second to figure out what exactly that is. You should have a handout if I did it properly. I do not. 
Hey, Darius. Yes? Do you know where we are? Under the chapel? Right. Oh, I do have it now. Yep, there it Just is. Just checking. Okay. <laughs> Did anybody you else get that pop-up? the room very quickly. I got excited. I solved a puzzle. Well, I guess you technically solved it. I just was the piece to solve it. That's fair. So while uh, Felix is inspecting the sphere, uh, we'll flip over to Jack. So Jack, you've reached the outside of the chapel now. What would you like to do? As I get up to the chapel door, I'm going to, as I'm like walking up to it, Reen's obviously laying there. I'm just going to pet her on the uh, top of her head and kind of tell her to follow me. And we're going to enter the chapel. Okay. So as you enter the chapel, and I manage all of these maps. <laughs> Eventually we'll be on the same map. Maybe. For five minutes. Uh, as you enter the chapel, oh, I have to bring your characters here. Son of a gun. As you enter the chapel, you see uh, De Horn is still upstairs. Um, he seems to be just kind of rousing himself still, getting his bearings. Um, you see the uh, right to your left and right, you see kind of like cloak racks up against the wall. Um, you see some dirty old cloaks and stuff laying there. Uh, you see uh, a fireplace to your left with a, like a painting above it. To your right, you see some sort of box with, you've never really seen this before, but it looks like some sort of musical instrument. Um, and then some pews lining the middle and then leading up to a statue at the end of the room. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to be confused when I walk in to see nobody else in here except Dorhan. Uh, Where's everybody at? They they found an entrance by the statue and headed down. I'm just I'm just gathering myself before I go down. I haven't heard anything though. I, I think it must be safe. <laughs> or we're all dead. <laughs> is, uh, oh, God! Is, is there a, a fire in the fireplace? Uh the fire is not lit, no. Jack's going to find all your clues. I'm trying to see if I have. <laughs> you always check the fireplace, especially up in the chimney. <laughs> um, um, I'm just so, seeing if I have. So you just, sorry, you're looking in the fireplace? I was going to see if I could start a fire. I didn't know if DeHorn wanted uh, a fire to chill by, so um, <laughs> I cannot do that. I probably could with stuff in my kit, but I'm just gonna go over to the the hole by the statue and be like, "This, this right here, this place." Yes, they, bear headed, they headed down. <laughs> okay, and uh, Jack's gonna look at Reen and point down into the hole, <laughs> and then he's gonna make his way down the ladder. All right, so Reen's coming down with you. Yes. Okay. So, being who you are, uh, no need for an dexterity check. You very easily slip your way down, almost not even touching the rungs, head above your hand, and just slide right down. As you see, you get down near the close to the bottom, you just spread your feet slightly to slow your fall, and then just do a little superhero landing at the end, looking around, ready for whatever's next. Perfect. So let me give you somebody to work with in here. Uh. Ooh! Okay. Hey, Jack. We found a room. That was. You did. It's kind of uh, large down here. Darius says that it's under the chapel. So if that's where we are, if you are ever confused. Felix seems to be very, very interested in this place. Uh, yeah, so Felix is... Uh has been examining the stone that's on this pillar like very intensely like um looking all over it and kind of pondering for a bit and then kind of like rubbing his hand in certain spots and, and then tapping his head so i'm gonna mimic felix except i'm gonna push on the sphere uh while you're pushing it doesn't move okay yeah, i was uh, hoping it'd fall and shatter or something 
uh, and Felix just kind of stands back and uh, crosses his uh, arms and says, uh, I think we need fire. I've heard of these before. I'm pretty sure. Drooped in stones? I, there should be some kind of hidden message in, in these. Um, but we need some kind of heat to, to see it. Um, the torches, do they come off the wall? Uh, roll the strength check. Oh, boy. <laughs> a bard specialty. Come on, dice. Hey. Oh, I could not have. Minus one. Minus one plus one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you heave with all of your might to see absolutely zero movement on the torch. Oh. All right. Hold on. Do I have any in my... They are lit, right? Yeah. I'll say Jack's just going to get a torch out in his tender box, and he's going to strike up a torch. Yeah, I have a candle in my bag. I'll light a candle off the torch and I'll go hold it to one of the spheres. I'll like carry it over very gently. Like. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you carry it over towards the sphere and um, you see the sphere now up close. It is almost perfectly smooth on the outside. Um, and holding the torch up to it, you see nothing change. And like it doesn't light on fire or anything when I hold the fire to it. It does not. So Felix, what what are we supposed to do with this? Jack's gonna hand his torch to Felix. Uh, Felix takes it and tries holding the fire to the rock, and then he he takes it back and he thinks and he goes and uh, he says, uh, "That should be working, but wait, no, no, this is wrong. I, that was the older designs. This must be the newer ones." You see, they, they used to use these things, require fire to, to see the messages, but they had to change it. Working in the mines, fire, too dangerous. Uh, so they used lightning instead. But how are we going to generate lightning? And uh, Jack's going to snap his finger and go Reen. And Reen's going to run up and he's going to... she He's going to have uh, Felix explain to Reen what uh, he wants. You just, uh, you just need to expose the the stone to, to lightning. It just needs to be struck by lightning, and and then we should see whatever the hidden message that the dwarves have left for us. Fair enough. And he's gonna point at Reen and the, uh, the orb or the rock itself, like that it's on. Uh, DM. Well, it's your oh, call. You're it's not gonna him. tell us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So you <laughs> well, have... just because. Just to re-explain, so you have like yeah. the pedestal, which is it's fairly basic in it, in it, its carving and structure. The sphere itself, if that's what you recognize to be a drukton stone. Yeah, okay, the so sphere. it's uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, the sphere, so the it's the sphere stone. that you okay. want to strike. Yes. All right, and then uh, Reen is just going to quickly just kind of like looks like she's spitting, but she's just going to shoot a quick lightning bolt right at it. Okay. Uh, which one do you want to ping? Which one you want to do this to? Is it the one by Felix? Uh, yeah, I'm at this point. I've gone right up to Felix to uh, hang out with him. He's okay. So cool. So, Reen, understanding what's going on, you see, kind of Reen, kind of lean back, put a little bit of weight in in his back or her back, um, and just open the mouth, and just you see this smallest stream of electricity just spark out, outside his mouth, and as it hits the rock, you start to see now. It starts to burn away. It just starts to crumble. And now you start to see some type of shapes forming. And the uh, what you see before you is now this sphere, but yet has More music the now. same type of writing as you previously seen uh, on the music sheet. Similar. Ooh. It looks like music now. Awesome. Does anyone know music? This is incredible! It, it worked! I knew it! All right, I'm going to come down and take a look. I'm, I'm going to pat Felix on the head and be like, yeah, buddy, you did it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack's going to pat Reed on the head. <laughs> Good job, you did it. So, do you want her to hit all of them? 
yeah let's do that because i want to see if they all have musical notes and if it's like a sequence like if it's a song or anything okay and then jack is gonna go ring snap his finger and he's gonna point at each individual sphere and uh, let her get to work you're like kratos in god of war 4 boy (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) so it's a bit of a distance between. Did you want Reen to like travel around a circle? Do you want him to stand in the middle and shoot? Like, where do you want Reen while he's doing each of these? Or go She's right up to them? Li- just literally going to walk up to each one and it's going to be uh, clockwise starting where we're at. Okay. And she'll just literally walk straight up to it. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you see Reen slowly going up and doing exactly as instructed. She opens the mouth, sparks lay out, and again, burning a trail around to uncover uh, a message. Um, she does this each time uh, and uncovering. It looks like a little bit different on each pillar, but now all of the five pillars are uh, are sort of uncovered. Uh, it's taken her probably about a minute to, to do this sequence. Yeah, so I'm just going to slowly walk to each one. And it like it, it is music on each one, I assume? It looks like musical notes, yeah. Okay, so I want to read it. First, do I recognize it as any song? Uh, which are you starting at the one you've moved up to? I'm assuming. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start at this one. Okay. So, y'all watch as Darius approaches and starts reading the music, kind of like he did. That some of you seen upstairs, um, but you're not making any sounds. You're just trying to read it and get a grasp of what it is. And as you look at it, the notes, the sequence of notes are in, aren't making much sense to you. It's it's not a fluid, uh, it's not a fluid ballad or anything. These notes seem to be all over. And as you stare at them and you read over, like, what is this? What is this? And all of a sudden, you just become calm. And as you start to read these notes, as you see them in your mind, they translate into words. And as you read this pillar, you see these notes coming towards you and shaping and changing into letters. And you see this message. The old gods cannot hold you any longer. So I like so as so I basically say that out loud as the words come into my head I like okay. I don't like speak it I kind of just like the old gods can hold you no longer and then like come out of the trance when it's done okay what and then, so Wait, again what do you mean? Pay, paying no mind to them I'm going to the next pillar <laughs> okay. what what does he mean by that they they can't hold us any longer. So, the old gods. Do you know who the old gods are? Do Is I someone know who holding the old gods me? Are? Guys, just let me finish. I'm gonna like I'm because that kind of like chilled me out. I'm gonna be like super calm and just like guys, let me just finish reading this, okay? Okay. So as you go to the next one, the same thing happens as you start to read the music, translating into letters, into words in your mind. We all hold our magic in the grounding sphere. <laughs> hold on. I should probably note this down. <laughs> we all hold our magic in the grounding sphere. The grounding spheres. Spheres. Okay. Jack's Same thing. Here. So as as the words enter my mind, it's the same thing. We all hold our magic in the grounding spheres. And then next. Okay. Sorry, Jack, what'd you say? I said Jack's not here to solve the puzzle. He's just going to watch. <laughs> so while Darius is moving around doing these pillars, did anybody else want to do anything while he's doing this? No, I'm just watching. I'm chilling. Yep. Actually, I'm probably Jack questioning what I'm. I'm uh, Felix is following uh, Darius around the whole time. Okay. okay. Jack's gonna walk the the outside, like check the, like the corners and stuff like that as that's going on. Okay. I'm gonna um, uh, pet this guy back here. Okay. <laughs> Sounds forget good. His, forget his name. Got him. All right. There you go. Hey, Gunner. Good gunner. Does he purr? I don't know. Does he? Does your fox purr? <laughs> uh, yeah, he doesn't really. He uh, he just kind of stands at the ready, kind of watching okay. the uh, ladder, and he 
Uh, I don't know if Atlas will find his trench or not, but he doesn't really react. Yeah, I don't. I don't really pay much mind to that. I'll just keep petting him. <laughs> okay, um, Jack. I want you to roll an investigation, Jack. Please. I'm just gonna use D and D Beyond. Yeah. A ten. A ten. Okay. Yes. So as you're kind of moving around the room, you've probably if you're going around the outside, you're probably at the west side by now. Um, as they make their way around the other way, um, and you just see it looks pretty, pretty normal. You see, do you see some sort of engravings almost within the wall, but it looks really old, kind of dusted over. Uh, and as you get to the full west wall, you see kind of like rocks on the ground, and it kind of like a little bit of that wall is kind of almost being broken a little bit. But other than that, you don't see anything that would kind of bring to your attention. Um, so as we go back, we got Felix and Darius going up to the, uh, you're at the Northwest pillar now. Yep. Um, okay. So this one, the words you see, hear our prayers and find your way. Prayers and find your way. Yeah. Hear our prayers and find oh, your way. Hear our prayers and find your way. So same thing. I mutter it as the words enter my brain. Okay. And kind of snap out of it still super chill just like it's almost like i took like nyquil <laughs> every time i've got into one of these so i'm just in this like almost like dazed state hey man <laughs> <laughs> so as you finish those words saying those out loud you actually see this one now lift slightly about two inches off the the pillar Go and the hole. musical notes start to light up and kind of start rotating uh, around the sphere. That woke me up. Felix, any ideas? No, I, I'm not sure about the magic that's in, involved with these. Uh, I, I can try and... No, no, no. Hold on. So as it's spinning, um, do the notes make more sense or are they still just as gibberish as they were? No. No. Okay. They look exactly the same. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's an order we have to do this in. Uh, examining the spinning, or glowing notes in that, uh, can I tell what type of magic this is, or, or anything like that, or anything about the the? Uh, roll an arcana. That's uh, so fourteen. So, other than knowing type of material that this has been infused onto and understanding that it isn't type a type of infusement of magic um you can't really tell that this is this seems to be some sort of unique infusement that you haven't experienced before um yeah darius i i don't know it, i've never seen this before i, I mean i've heard of drooped installs but i don't don't know much more beyond how to reveal the message. Okay, well, let's go check out the other ones and see what those messages say. Um, and if need be, I'll just go. If if another one starts floating, I'll just go around and read more. So let's go check out the next one. And I make my way over here. Okay, so you hit the northeast pillar. Uh, this one reads in your mind. The beacons are ready to guide you from your starlight prison. The beacons are ready to guide you from your starlight prison. <clears throat> I wish you could experience this. It's really weird. All right. Well, let's go check the last one. Are you repeating the same actions as last time? Like reading? Yeah, yeah. That's or... so now when okay. I'm typing it, that's going to be me like okay. saying it out loud. So as you finish this one, you now see this sphere go about two inches up and start to rotate and uh, kind of blue uh, wrappings, kind of almost like electricity with the music rolling around. Okay. Are they rotating clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, clockwise. Okay, and the final one. So while he moves to the final one, uh, does Atlas or Jack, do you guys need to do any movements? 
Jack, you've made it around to back to where you were without uh, seeing anything above beyond what you've already seen. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm gonna stand kind of like in between Atlas and uh, Felix. Just whoever needs me, I can get to. I'm gonna probably move up as I'm like listening to Darius um, say these words outside. I'm like kind of shuffling them around in my head, like kind of processing them, like as a subroutine okay. of like what kind of order they might make sense in. Okay. So Atlas. Green's gonna go stand next to Gunner. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Keep the pets together. Got it. Um, so Atlas, as you move a little bit closer, um, you feel. You feel almost a tug, like I, I, as you get kind of uh, closer to where Darius is, you feel almost something almost like pull towards you. Okay, do I feel that from within? No, you feel it almost, almost like somebody's got just this tiny little string, and they're they're pulling you uh, westward. Okay, um, I'm gonna kind of go with it a little bit. Let it okay. pull me to where it needs to go. Okay. So as you feel the pull, you feel the pull closer and closer. And as you get beside Felix, you feel this intense, real intense pull. And you get this feeling that if this pulls any stronger, you're not going to have an option to resist the pull that it has. Uh, guys, I'm feeling... I'm being pulled by something. Is that is that one of you? I'm not doing anything. What are you where like what direction are you being pulled? Uh, towards the center here. It's it's getting hard to resist it now. Okay, uh, just just step away for now. My guess, given what just happened upstairs, is this may be opening a portal. Mm -hmm. And it's not fully open yet, so don't let yourself be ripped into nothingness. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that is uh, great advice. Um, As Jack takes a step back. <laughs> can, I, can I pull back? You cannot. Can uh, we help him? Not D letting D me. Do we feel the pull at all? You don't feel anything above, beyond what you've been feeling since you've been in this room? No pull. Uh, okay, Felix will grab Alice's arm and try and step back and drag him back towards the ladder. I want to test something. Okay, I'm so gonna Felix pull, started pull yanking out. already first, yeah, yeah. and then we'll do that. That's yeah. fine. So he he was, can, like, try to pull you. him out of the way. I'm going to pull yeah. out my rapier and move it closer to the pedestal. Okay. So, Felix, you want to roll a stealth check? And, uh, Darius, do you want to step closer to the pedestal? Sure. A stealth or a strength? Sorry, did I say stealth? I meant strength. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, shit's going can, down. Um, <laughs> roll stealth! Can Jack, can Jack help, um stop uh atlas he wants to grapple his uh like other arm and kind of pull him back a bit okay yeah yeah so you can roll an acrobatics um and then felix roll is strength so both of you do those individual rolls for me just just strength or athletics uh f just strength for felix and athletics for uh jack 22 Okay. Nine. Nine. Okay. So quite easily you, you uh aim it perfectly so it's not injure anyone. Uh it wraps around Atlas's uh arm. Uh <laughs> you have Felix on the other side pulling and he does not move an inch. He 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 is he is stuck right there. Um Atlas, you still feel the pull towards, um, but you're unable to move backwards at all. Well, this is a predicament. Are you guys going to start pulling? Because I'm going to get pulled. I'm, I'm trying. Uh, I want oh. to turn towards the very uh, firmly attached torch on the wall. And I want to uh, cast Thorn Whip and use it to try and pull us towards the wall. Copycat. Okay. Uh, so roll a, you can roll a strength check. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> so you you grab the torch and you pull yourself a few feet 
Um, you have the choice whether to hang on to Atlas or to let him go, but Atlas does not move. Oh uh, yeah, so I, I, uh, I, I, you see, Felix uh, lift his left gauntlet, which is kind of the bigger, bulkier one, and it outshoots kind of like a barbed cable as he casts Storm Whip, and it wraps around the uh, torch. And he just tries to pull with that arm while his other hand is holding onto Atlas, and just kind of his arms are just stretched out. Uh, but he refuses to let go of Atlas's arm. Well, he does that. Um, Jack's going to grab one of. He's going to copy him. He's going to grab his torch and he's going to start retracting. Um, so it's start. It's like try to reel him in and see if it does anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so Darius, with your rapier, what are you? What are you doing? I just want to hold it towards the thing to see if I feel any pull. Right. So yeah. So you extend your rapier out towards it, and you feel nothing. You just feel okay. air. Right there. All right, so that theory's out of the out of the bag then. Okay, so I'm gonna put it away, and I'm gonna move, um, kind of like in front of Atlas and try to push him back as well. Okay. So, full strength check. Darius, you really need to help us out here. I mean, this isn't my strong suit, but I'll do my best. Jack's hanging on, and he's like, maybe push him in. I would wait until Jack. I get all the spheres lit. Jack, Jack, come, come here, come closer. <laughs> I'm gonna kick him off. <laughs> Jack, come here, quick. I'm trying come. to make sure you don't fall in here. My strength check was 11. Sorry, I forgot you. Come did. over okay. here. Is my uh, and me is me pulling on him not doing anything? No. So you now have. You now have Felix with the thorn whip hanging on to Atlas with one hand pulling. Jack with the grapple hook again trying to reel back and pull. And Darius is trying to push Atlas away from the center. And with all of this, still Atlas cannot move. You know, See if your dragon can help us. I'm very concerned. I don't think we're moving him. The strength of the group. We've all had poor we... strength checks. <laughs> uh, I wore the wrong order. Jack, Jack, come here. Jack. I'm I'm here, buddy. Come come closer. And uh, dark. <laughs> uh, Jack's gonna look at Darius, and he's gonna like give him like some serious eyes, and he's gonna go like this for him to scoot out of the way. Yeah. Jack. Apologies. I'm gonna head back over towards the uh, the pillar. Jack. And look, uh, look Jack eyes. is Jack is gonna give Atlas oh, a shove. No, look into my eyes, <laughs> real quick. Look look at my eyes. Are you looking at my eyes? Okay. As so he's looking, he's the just flash, gonna... The eyes will flash yellow, oh, and no. his eyes will flash yellow, and um, I'm casting guidance on him for, hopefully, another strength check. <laughs> he's pushing you roll. into the portal. So, I hope you know that. He's not you... pulling you out. I say, I didn't roll a strength check at all. I only rolled the acrobatics check. I, he didn't tell me to roll anything. So, okay. So... Try pulling me away. Pull me away. As you approach, so uh, Jack approaches Atlas. Um, Atlas looking up just into to Jack's eyes, you know, of I I'm going to help you so that you can help me. Jack just looking at him, just pushes Atlas <laughs> right into the center. That's what you said you were doing, right? You said you pushed him? Yes, no, no going back. <laughs> is, this, is this contested by Felix still holding on to? It's, it's, in this case, it's not. So, Felix, you lose your grip of Atlas, and Atlas, you feel the pull that was just getting to the point of uncontrollable now sucks you into the middle, um, of which I can't place you in exactly the middle. Um, it sucks you into the middle, and now that you're there and you guys are closer, you see almost a spherical kind of dent almost in this, this pedestal in the middle. And Atlas, this, this whatever energy this is, it stands you upright and almost sucks you into the ground. Like you are sort of compressed. You're not hurt, mm -hmm. but you're compressed to the point where you can literally swivel your head. Um, you can talk and, and, and see, but you're unable to move from that spot. You're now locked in the central pedestal part. Crap. All right. Hang on, buddy. I'm going to try yeah. something. Okay. All so right. I'm going to go back up to the Northeast pillar and say the words again. The beacons are ready to guide you from your starlight prison. Okay. Um, nothing happens. It continues to still rotate with the uh, kind of blue lightning uh, going around the musical notes. All right. Well, I hope this doesn't kill you. All right. Me I'm going to read too. the notes on this one. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, so Southeast Pillar, you begin to read the notes. Bless this world yet again with your power and guidance. Bless this world yet again with your power and guidance. And as you finish the words, again, this one now lifts up, starts to rotate. Exactly the same as you've seen the previous two do. Okay. Is, is everyone okay? Does anyone need assistance? Are, are you okay, Atlas? You need assistance oh, right now, my do friend. Do not worry about me, my... Goal is to assist in any way possible. Okay, I'm gonna go to this pillar, and the old gods can hold you no longer. Okay, as you finish the words, the sphere moves up, starts to rotate, and you know, the electricity around it. All right, one second. J Jack, what? Why did you push him? Why would you do that? We're trying to pull him out. Well, three grown men were struggling to pull him. And he couldn't move, so give yeah, him a little push. I I could have. It I doesn't done matter. That myself without we, a push. we can't give up on our friend. We didn't hey. give up. He's doing his thing. We're we're good. We got time. Felix, Felix, are we friends? Uh, yeah, of course. Oh man. Okay, statue, you can take me now. Okay, and when he says that, I read to the final pillar. We all hold our magic in the grounding spheres. Okay. So as you finish reading uh, the final word, you see this sphere move up, start to rotate, and this blue electrical energy start to rotate around it. And then you all see Darius now. His eyes just go white, and he's standing perfectly still. And you hear a voice that you almost don't recognize. Hear our prayers and find your way. The beacons are ready to guide you from your starlight prison. Bless this world yet again with your power and guidance. The old gods cannot hold you any longer. We hold all our magic in the grounding spheres. And all of the lights extinguish immediately. You're all standing in blackness. Atlas, you immediately go into stasis. Everybody else, you hmm. see, you see, in this blackness, you see what looks like stars in the sky. It almost looks like you're outside and you can see the stars. There's this red energy starts to build from Atlas. And you see it shoot out in a stream towards the first pillar the second pillar, the third, the fourth, the fifth. And the energy between these pillars start to connect, and they start rotating in a circle. It comes into the middle, and now it looks to form some sort of illusion displaying towards you now. You see like a world floating above Atlas. It's lush, complete, beautiful. And on this world, you slowly see red blips start to form. You see one, one blip, a second, a third, Finally, five points are established on this beautiful world. You see humanoid shapes forming around each one of these flashing beacons that are here. And after a few seconds, you feel a deep low hum starts coming from each of these points. The vibration from the hum is so intense, gains so much, so frequent, so loud, you almost feel like your bones are gonna shatter. The points, they start to flash beam of red energy is sent from each one of them to the center point a huge streak of red lightning is shot upwards to the center towards the stars and in silence then the shape begins to form something massive is pulled down towards the world something immense then the illusion fades an explosion of red energy comes out of atlas and blows you all back and shoots up right up above atlas through the ceiling Atlas, the moment you went into stasis, you found yourself in this darkness. This is a darkness that you felt back when you were on the ship. Looking around, just blackness. Stars at a great, great distance, but all around you, just darkness. You suddenly feel your body pulled backwards so hard, you feel your legs and arms just shooting out in front of you uncontrollably. You open your <laughs> eyes, and you see yourself standing 
upstairs in the chapel and you're over to horn you see your friends they're looking around the statue looks to be normal again then all of a sudden you feel yourself pulled again your eyes open and you find yourself pulling a painting off the wall and munching the corner of it and then you realize you're back on the boat now you see all the contestants just laying safely in their beds you get this sense of relief that everybody is safe now then another pull you open your eyes again nothing not even blackness no feeling no sensation just an unending emptiness that seems to envelop you for all of eternity then you get yanked backwards yet again you open your eyes you see this gentle smiling face about three inches from your own a weary looking old man with scraggly dark hair wearing a monocle looks like he hasn't slept in weeks and he's looking straight into your eyes you're not sure what family feels like but if you had to guess then sensation would be it the man speaks atlas my boy we have accomplished a lot together and although my illness still has its hold on me i won't give up people are coming to take me away and i know that can't be avoided I thought that I, the great doctor, Elias Veritas, was going to be this world's savior. But you, you are the hope that this world needs and possibly the only chance we have. He shakes his head. I am? Things are not supposed to be the way they are. I doubt we will meet again. And for your safety, you will not even remember who I am if we do. I must oh. erase everything to ensure you don't fall into the wrong hands. He pats no. you gently on the head and he gives you a purple flower to hold. You oh. look at him, you hold it towards him with both your hands outstretched, and he smiles. Goodbye, Atlas. If you can hold anything at all from this, please, do what you can for this world. Help it, Atlas. Help. Help. I will. I will. Help. I will. And then blackness comes over you. You open your eyes, and you see all of your friends standing around you. So no. everybody in the area, I want you to take all the effects of a long rest. Oh, thank God. And Atlas, as you open your eyes and see all your friends around you, you feel almost like a little scratch coming just below where your plate is, where your neck is. You, you feel almost like a scratching there. Hmm. So peculiar. Was I damaged? Am I still catatonic? So all of you now are, you are knocked back five feet, but you are all conscious. Okay. Uh, Darius, you are conscious, but unable to move at the moment. You're, you're kind of recovering. You're just taking a few, few seconds to gather yourself. Okay. Hmm. Did someone power me down? Uh, Felix will run back up to Atlas and take it as tools and, and immediately uh, start casting mending and just trying to examine him, uh, like kind of frantically, like, Atlas, are, are you okay? Are you injured? I, he's try, trying to look for any any uh, damage. Okay. I don't feel any sort of problem with my systems. I feel like I've been in stasis. Was I powered down? My memory banks are malfunctioning. All this energy came exploding out of you. I, I can't even explain it. I mean, if I wasn't so worried about you, it would have been incredible, awesome to witness. But I, I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. I I think I am okay. I, I Felix, can I ha ask you something? Yeah, of course. Do do you dream? Yeah, I dream. Do you can you tell me what dreaming feels like? Uh well, it, it, dreaming's kind of confusing sometimes. Uh, I mean, it happens while you're sleeping and and you don't really know that you're in a dream until you wake up. I think I dream. I think I was dreaming, but I I've never dreamed before, so I 
couldn't really tell you um, if that is what happened, but do you, are you familiar with my race of people, I guess you could say? Are you familiar with machinery like me? I mean, to, to some degree, uh, but you, the, whoever created you, I, I mean, you're so far advanced beyond anything that, that I've ever made. A gunner is my greatest creation, and uh, as incredible as he is, uh, he's not... I mean, you're like a person. Well, I am not, unfortunately, a real person, but I strive to be more like a person, um, do you know or do you think that that gunner might be able to dream? No, I, I don't think so. He really is mechanical beyond all else. Mm. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe I wasn't dreaming then. Maybe, maybe I'm malfunctioning. I don't know. But you're so different th than he is. Uh... It's not impossible. So many things that you've done so far, even just how you are and, and the way that, that you talk and think and, and seem to, to care about things. It's Again, it's so far advanced. You really are like a person, Atlas. That's oh. how I feel anyway. Thank you. Am I am I free from where I am, or am I still stuck? You are now free. Yeah. You, if anything, you feel more energized than before you went there, but you are definitely free. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, just reach in and give Felix a hug. Thank you for saying that, Felix. Uh, yeah, Felix will hug him back. Uh, yeah, no no thanks necessary. I, I, I'm still uh, amazed by you. <laughs> well, I never, I, never I, thought I would ever meet anything like you or anyone, anyone like you. Well, I'm... Uh... Pleased to meet you as well, and I really don't, I don't know what I am, really, but all I know is I'm, I'm here to help. So if you need help, you can count on me. Does uh, anyone need help? Like, is everyone okay? Jack's gonna pat them both on the head a little bit and go, see, we got something done. And then he's gonna just go back over to Reen and Gunner and kind of stand over there. Can I be unconscious for all of this? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, all right. So, so Darius, um, as you kind of reel back from seeing all of this and then whatever this strange energies um, that you felt kind of flow through you, um, you look down at your hands and it, it, they're kind of, they're kind of shaking. Um, but, it doesn't feel something that's quite uncontrollable, and you just you, you slowly clench your fists, and you steady them, and you realize that there's there's kind of like something inside you that feels a little bit different. Oh, is that what happened? That's cool. <clears throat> um, so so that happened. So Jack, sorry, you were. What were you doing during this? Uh, Sorry. I was just like, uh, I was standing next to, like, I went up to check on Atlas as well, but Felix took the lead on it. So Jack was okay. just kind of standing there. Perfect. So as you guys are, are both kind of watching Felix, or sorry, Atlas, making sure he's okay. Um, and, the, you know, you've watched this warm embrace uh, between these two very eager people wanting to make friends. Um, you actually see this small green kind of eye kind of popping out from from underneath Felix uh, Atlas's collar kind of looking around almost scared um Atlas uh yes Darius would you like a hug too no I'm sorry I should have offered no and I put my hand on his head <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like Reaching. Uh, Darius, this is not how we hug. This is how I hug, buddy. And then I pat him on the head. Listen, okay. are you at all organic? Uh, no. 
Well, I mean, I like to wear some organic fixtures upon my head, but no, I'm not organic. Then what is on your neck? Um, sorry, repeat the question? What is on your neck? Um, I have a type of alloy. No, what is on your neck? <laughs> Felix, what is on his neck? Huh? What? what? I, I, I don't know. What? What is that? I, 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 I don't, I don't know what just happened. Okay, it, it, it was weird. It freaked me out. It, I feel like I blacked out for a second, and then there was lightning, and then I was, I was, I was flying through the air. Uh, Are we making this about you? Is that no, what no, no, we no, do? no, 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 no. I just want to make sure that I'm not, you know, like seeing things, or maybe I have some type of medical condition where you know I need to see a doctor. You have a medical condition? I, I can don't help know. With that. Can you Wait. scan my brain? Do you have a temperature? You tell me. Can I do a medicine check on him? Certainly. Scanning. Scanning. Rolling. <laughs> <laughs> um. What? Is it that uh, six? Six. Eight. Okay. Sorry. Eight. Eight. Ah, eight. that makes a big difference. Yeah. Uh, he seems fully healthy. He doesn't see injured whatsoever. Nothing beyond that you can tell. You are fully healthy to my diagnostic scans. Okay. Then Felix, what is on his neck? <laughs> so as you guys are, are talking about this, trying to figure out what this, this eyeball is. It starts to come out a little bit further, and you now can all see. Yeah. Out of me? Yeah. Crawling out. And I'm assuming from where you were itchy. Oh, good heavens. And you now, Atlas, in your understanding mm -hmm. of plant life, um, mm -hmm. you actually know what this is. You realize okay. that the, uh, the clipping you took of the... Uh, undead uh, vinelings that were outside somehow uh, has regrown. Interesting. I jump back. Um, okay. Did I not leave that clipping on the thorn? <laughs> no, you took it. You, you oh, I did grab it back. Okay. cut it off, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, like you purposely took that clipping off. Uh, you mean off the horn? Yeah, you took it off whenever okay. you were leaving. I, I laid it on him, though, didn't I? Yep. Or no, point, I, yeah. I took the thing out of my mind. Am I? Yeah, man. Um, oh, uh, oh, yes. Um, this is not good. He doesn't look threatening right now. He looks actually a little bit more scared of, uh, of the situation. Oh, hey, little guy. How how did you get there? Do I know that, that he's from the clipping, or am I... Like, you, yes, I kinda... you can tell okay. because of the, the makeup of it, yeah. Okay. So he doesn't um, answer, but he moves closer towards you, uh, up towards your head, almost hmm. snuggling against your head. So you grow mighty quick. Uh, everybody, this is... My friend. Uh, friend. Everybody. Yeah, do you remember the last time you said something like that was your friend? A Alice, isn't this one of those things that attacked us before? Yes. This... I, I pull out my dagger. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. It's that kind of creeps away in fear and kind of hides behind Atlas's head. It's okay. I will raise him as one of my own. Uh, what does that even mean to you? I don't know, but it sounded like something that sounded good to say, so... I mean, it's something that, you know, organic beings say when they're talking about their children. Mm-hmm. That's why I said it. You can't have children. And now I can. Are you sure With, this um, thing's not just going to attack us at, at some point? Or, Does like, in our to... sleep, take over our body? Like, what? What? Oh. Yes, all, is both that a thing are that very happen? possible occurrences. <laughs> that is definitely something that could happen. Um, but I or he clench my dagger arm. and walk closer to him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, think of how good of a friend he could be. He's great. Would, um, 
He's a uh-huh. plant. Uh-huh. And plant I can tell creature. you that 100% of his kind that I have met have tried to kill me. Mm-hmm. Would this fall under anything like, um, does uh, Jack knows speak with animals? No, so would, would this be something he would think would work for it, or would that be more of speak with plants? Um, plants. Well, not okay. even, actually. <laughs> Darius, I, I haven't really read a lot about about plant creature things, uh, but do you know about plants that take over our bodies in the middle of the night? Because that sounds really horrifying, and I'm a little concerned now. No, I don't, but those things out there look like they were people who were enveloped by some type of plant. They look I... like zombie Sorry. people. So am I am I familiar with this plant? Like I know you like so not previously. So basically your knowledge so far on this is um knowing the makeup, matching what it was from outside, mm-hmm. um, and knowing the aggressiveness in comparison to what you're seeing now. Mm-hmm. Um okay. and that's it. That's really all you know. Okay. Well, Atlas, see if you can command it. Listen, I I know you guys are terrified of this creature's other siblings, we could say, but I just need you to know that Filbert will not be a product of his environment. Can you tell him what to do? Um, yes, I can. His environment Filbert, isn't what I'm concerned about. It's, Filbert, it's be nature. cute. Um, and you see Filbert... He, he he looks a bit trepidatious, but he does step a little bit across his shoulder, and he does like a little running man sequence, and then for a few seconds, and then stops, and then goes back and hides behind his head. Hmm. Wait, how'd you know what his name was? Oh, um, that's just the name I gave him, just now. Oh, how'd he know what his name was? How does he understand what you're saying? I have answers for none of those questions. <laughs> well, Darius, you said you know about plant things, right? Did plant things speak common? Because Atlas is just speaking common. And it seemed when did I say I know about plant things? When well, did you I say you knew that? About, you said you knew about plants that take over bodies. It seemed like you had kind of no, studied... no, 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 no. You I said you, said you, you know lots of lore. You. you told me no, that. No, I said 100%. For, for, okay, hold on a minute. Back up. Felix, I said... I I saw what its kind <laughs> is, and all of the things outside looked like people who they had taken over. Atlas. Did they? I said 100% of its kind have tried to kill me. Not 100% of plants have tried to kill me. Okay, but, but just to be clear, Darius, you did say before that you, your uh, whole uh, thing is that you know a lot of things, so... Yeah, I know a lot of He's things. He's got you there. Yeah, Remember, I know a lot of things. lies. He's a compulsive liar. Yeah, I'm starting to believe that that might actually be the case. Atlas, can you can you give him a real command besides be cute? Can you tell him to crawl down your body, run around, and then crawl back up to you or something? Or tell him to go stand next to my foot and slap my shoe or something. I want to make sure this thing listens to you to a T. Listen, we just met. I don't really want to be very demanding of him. Um, or her, or whoever he tries, they try to... Very confusing situation right now. Um, Filbert, that is your name now. Please come out. Everything's okay. And maybe, um, if you know how to, um, do this. And I just... I just, like, wave at everyone. Okay. So, Filbert climbs up in his shoulder... He actually hops up on top of your head and kind of like he, he gets on his knees first and tries to stand up a little bit, kind of losing his balance a little, but then he just starts waving both hands and then quickly scampers back down onto your shoulder. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, you work you work on that and I'll trust you. Trust me? Both of you. Oh, you don't you don't trust me? What have I done? You, you're fine, but if you're so willing to make friends with something that earlier tried to hurt us... Mm-hmm. Well, see the I concern? like to look at the good in everyone. This is why I travel with you folks. Wait, you don't need to sleep, do you? Um, I do require power downloads, but my sleep 
isn't exactly how you would sleep. Good. When we're resting, you have to stay awake. If you want to keep that thing, I am not being in a room with you where you cannot watch it. Okay, I will stay awake completely the whole time. And I just turn to Felix and I just give him like a big, obvious wink. Uh, no okay. problem. Okay, right, well, very well. Let, let's stop concerning ourselves with this. I think we're kind of forgetting something here. Did um, anybody else see what happened when Atlas was in the middle of the, the thing in the room? I think all of us saw it except Atlas. Yes, I have no idea what happened. Um, it was interesting, but I don't want you guys to be mad at me for pushing Atlas into the center of the room now, because we got stuff done. Yes, I, I, I don't understand. think it would have made a difference. I Even if he hadn't have moved towards it, I think the more I activated these, he would have been pulled in anyways. But why? Why was I pulled in? That's what I would like to know. What do you know That's about this That's what I would like to know as well. Maybe his... Uh, Technological advances reacted to it? I don't know. Felix, isn't that your domain? I mean, this is beyond my my area of expertise. Atlas is so far advanced of anything that I've ever created. <laughs> uh, Darius, were you removing your character? Or are you actually moving your character? I was going to say I'm trying to sneak behind Atlas, but then he started moving, so now I'm just playing I'm... Corey. Okay, so just know, <laughs> if I, just know if I see you guys move your character, I'm going to assume you're moving there. Yeah, that's fine. And act accordingly. I, I, I am willing to take full, because like, I do this in every game I play. If I end up stumbling upon a trap or a monster, I take full responsibility for it. It's totally fine. <laughs> so I do want you to roll a perception check, Darius. Okay. And I am actively keeping away from Darius. Okay. 11. Fair. I would, too. 11? Okay. Hmm. What would you guys like to do? Um, so, a world with blips on it. Has has this world, has this room changed at all? Or was that what my perception check was for? Uh, from what you can see, the room hasn't changed other than the um, the stones have gone like back to normal. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just whisper to uh, Philbert, and I'm gonna open my mouth, and he's just gonna crawl inside, and I'm gonna close it shut. Okay. Little do you know, inside he does of so. a furnace, and you just incinerated him. <laughs> he just he plunks himself down, and you just kind of see his little fingers and his little eye peeking out under the bottom of uh, Atlas's mouth. Yeah. So do you think this island. was where we are at? This this world? Uh, did, is the map that we saw recognizable at all as a map that we've seen before? Like... It, no, it is not, no. Okay. So it, it doesn't Sorry, look like... Oh. My apologies, Felix. Can you roll a history check? Wait, you guys seen a map? 17. Okay. So you do recognize this map from your, your research. Um, and it, 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 this is the, the pre-cataclysm map, what it would look like pre-cataclysm. And the, the five, because you said that the blips started to turn into humanoids. Did we recognize them at all? Uh, humanoids appeared around the blips. They didn't turn into oh, okay. humanoids. So, uh, does everyone want to maybe tell me what they they seen while I was dreaming? You want to give me that thing in your mouth? No. Well, there's your answer. Well, we we saw we saw a map of the world before the, the cataclysm ripped it apart, but beyond that, I'm not really sure what to make of it. Hmm. Can you describe the, this map? Uh, I describe what I saw. Okay. Does it? Uh, coincide with what I've seen it map wise? Not. It does not. Well, okay. so roll an investigation. Who? Me? Uh, yeah. yeah okay. uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> do you need me to add one? 
add my modifier to that? Uh, no. Five, Actually, six, you know, you seven. know what? Yeah, no, you, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, do do we know what the world currently looks like? Are you asking me, or are you asking your fellow players? Well, you and then them. If the answer is no, <laughs> then I don't know what the world looks like. So, well, I, just as a kind of recap of the foundation, the once the island is uh, shattered, there was no way to communicate yeah. island to island. So that's why I wanted, like, because like I, I don't know if we know if that information was ever shared. If we saw it, like. Was there anything on the boat that showed the current state of the world? There might have been. (laughs) I guess we didn't look for it. Okay, uh, because the next thing, so this is to the group. Do you think those five dots that we saw represent the islands? Maybe. I figured they represented the orbs in front of us. Well, maybe those orbs represent the islands. Maybe, uh... There's Has only... no one seen a map of the islands before? How could we? There's no way to map the world. Have you? You're asking. You're saying that like you have. I have. Oh, okay. So, based on what Felix has described to you, <laughs> does that line up with the islands? No. Why are we having no. this conversation? Not at all. <sighs> Can't be only four islands, though, right? Sure. Oh, well, there's there's five, right? Because there's our four islands, and then the island we were going, or particularly maybe on. Processing. Well, I almost wouldn't consider uh, Continentum as an island, though, right? They, they, that's supposed to be a, a mainland. I thought it would Processing. be a lot more massive. Processing. <laughs> I assume processing means he's going through his notes. <laughs> there are 22 different bodies of land surrounding surrounding processing processing man someone needs to upgrade your CPU. would you like are you going to explain the details of the map in which case we can i can speed things along here speed things along. <laughs> So I, I tell I'm like I want to do this cool though. Mm-hmm. Um, can we? Uh, can we turn? Can we turn the lights down though? Um, <laughs> the lights have come back up, up uh, after the event there. So it, it they is, haven't. They have. Sorry. Yes, they have. Oh, okay. So it's it's literally as if you had just walked into the room. Yeah. I assume they're magic torches then, because they turn themselves off and on again. Can we try? Okay, so can we try to? Hey, Darius, can we? Can you try to put this light out over here? This this flame. I examine the wall for a dimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Roll investigation. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, I don't think I have anything that I can put it out with. If you're looking for like the darkest part of the room where you guys came in in the stairs, there's no torches in that particular tunnel. If you're looking for the darkest part, that's where it would be. Okay. All right. Follow me. And I just, my eyes start to glow really wide. And I start like I looking towards the dark corner of the room and I just start projecting like almost like shifty magic face type imagery until a map comes into focus. And I'm epileptic. I'm now having a seizure. Thanks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this Jack's, is incredible. Jack's eyes are getting like really big and he's just kind of in the very back. This is what was on the wall in the ship. I committed it to my memory banks before, you know, the big explosion happened. Oh, it was an explosion. I I think so. That's what I think so. I mean, I don't know. I 
I remember going to sleep, and then I woke up on a beach. I, oh. I remember nothing in between that. Interesting. My dream, I, the, my dream, I was back on the ship for a brief moment, pulling this off the wall, and then, then there was an explosion of energy, and then, and then I was back home. I think. I, th I think it was home. And then I seen... I seen an, a man. An old man. But very, very kind. Perhaps it was your creator. I... I don't know. I have no memory. That's and I'm just going to project the like a, a subtle image of like the face <laughs> so like okay. a hologram of uh yeah. mega man's creator <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wait are you the are you the only one of you though atlas is is there anybody I, else where you come I, from that's like you no i've i've never seen anyone like me Incredible. this this feels guess, like home can you go back to the map again? Oh, um, sorry. I, <laughs> um, yes, hold on a moment. Processing. I, I, I go back to the map. Almost like I didn't mean to show that face. Uh, do I recognize my island? Yeah, you would. You would. From the cartography, yeah. So the north, east... Not the circular island, but the one to the west of that and north would be your your uh, island. Amazing! This right here, guys. This is this is my island, Pharaoh. Ooh, what one's mine? I, I don't know. It, I, I don't know what your island looks like. No. Oh. Well, it's very flat. And it has trees and buildings and people and it had me on it, but I'm not there anymore. Um, do you know now? Uh, no, it's a two-dimensional map, so it'd be hard, hard to tell mm. which ones well. are flat and which ones aren't. Mm. Okay. Felix, can you run a perception check for uh, Gunner, please? Seventeen. Okay, so you notice that the, the gunner's ears prick up a little bit, and he uh, he, he kind of looks cautiously in towards the center of the room. Uh, I'll uh, I'll turn around and uh, take a look at it. There might be something something going on in the uh, over here. I'll Do approach the middle of the room. Do we need... Can I turn off the map now? Yeah, you can turn it off, buddy. Okay. Uh, see anything out of the ordinary? Do I see anything out of the ordinary? So, uh, roll a perception. Twenty. <laughs> Natural? No. Okay. Dirty 18 plus 2. Okay. Um, so, you don't see anything, but you hear something... It almost feels or sounds like like a scratching, but not like the scratching you heard before with the newfound friend. Um, scratching almost like gravel, like a, or almost like a rock, like <laughs> that kind of sound. And you hear coming. it coming from the west side of the room with that roll. <laughs> okay. That was where I was going to go inspect next before we got show and tell. Uh, Felix will draw his light hammer and start to approach. Uh, whoa, 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 where are you, go where are you going? Oh. Oh, there's something coming over, coming from over here. Oh, so you just run right towards it. You don't. Yeah, I want to. I want to see what it is. What if it's dangerous? Why do none of you consider danger? I, I do. That's what makes it so exciting. Didn't you run down I'm here? Used to it. Yeah, and did this room? Was this room dangerous? 
No, we were fine. You didn't know. I clearly I knew. Oh, come on, Darius. Where's oh. your sense of adventure? Well, there's, a sense, there's a sense of adventure, and then there's stupidity. <laughs> no way. This is the most exciting time of my entire life right now. Okay, I'm going to stand way back here. <laughs> so I'm going to grow scarred from getting held down by plants. <laughs> I'm going to hang out in the hallway, and I'm just going to like project the picture of that older oh, man again, just kind of <laughs> looking okay. at it. Okay. Jack will approach with Felix, but he'll stay a little bit behind him, so he has room to look around. Sure. Okay. So, Felix, as you and Gunnar get closer, uh, Gunnar's ears like at full alert right now, and you can see him almost kind of preparing himself for some sort of danger. Uh, but as you get closer, your, your ears pick up a little bit, and you can definitely hear this louder. This is definitely coming from the full west wall. Um, where you can now that you're closer see some breaks and crumbling from the wall where uh, some of the, the kind of rocks are like the, the beautifully uh, kind of marbled walls have kind of broken in and fallen on the floor. Uh, okay. Um, I want to examine the wall, like maybe knock on it. Like is it is it clearly there's something right on the other side? Is it hollow? Is it solid? Yeah, so basically where those rocks have fallen out, you see what looks like dirt. You would expect to be, you know, um, now that you're this far underground, some sort of clay, uh, very thick dirt almost. You know, it's, it, what What has fallen out in regard rocks wise is only like about a foot by about a foot. It's not very wide. It's very small. It looks like something's tried to push and kind of knock those, uh, those bricks out, uh, but it's kind of like a, a hard clay substance. Um, but you can definitely hear the scratching from behind there. Uh, hello? Anyone back there? Can't really hear any other sounds coming through. Well, might as well see what's on the other side then. Uh, I'm going to back up uh, and back on out of the way as well. Uh, just stand back a bit, Jack. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, okay. Uh, raise my uh, left gauntlet and uh, open-handed point it towards one of the uh, fallen pieces of debris. Um, my gauntlet uh, is going to begin to emit a bit of a glow, and so is the piece of debris, and I'm going to cast Catapult, and I'm going to launch it at the western wall. Nice. Roll an attack. Uh, so it, uh, it actually just is the first thing it collides with it has to make a dex saving throw and, uh, it takes 3d8 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Roll actually, 3D8. It says, if it strikes an object, it stops moving. So yeah, 3d8. Yeah. 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 It's AC with zero. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> when, um, Sorry, when you, um, when you hold your gauntlet out and, I, and Jack sees it glowing, Jack is going to be a little closer to you now, and he's actually going to um, grab like the top after after you've launched the attack. He's kind of kind of like turn your wrist and, around to inspect your gauntlet because now he's curious because you two wield a fancy gauntlet. Uh, eight eight uh, eight damage, eight bludgeoning damage. I'd like okay. to talk to Darius while you guys are doing this at the same time. So when you have a moment. Yeah, sure. So go ahead. As as this catapults through, this is taking a few minutes for him to inspect and get prepared for to cast okay. a spell. So you guys can go ahead. Hey, uh, Darius. Uh huh. You. And as I'm doing this, I'm still staring at the wall. Okay. Did you you said you seen another map? What? You said you seen another map. Didn't didn't you say that with? With the other ones, when I was... Oh, in the room, yes. Yeah. Do you want to uh, describe it to me as best as you can, and I'll try to put that together in my memory banks? Do you have any images of it, Colin? Uh, do I? No. Okay. Well, I describe it to you as best I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe I, I'll take some time to process that and maybe at some point be able to 
spit out some sort of police sketch yeah. style. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I well, basically, just explain that it, it's a lush planet. Um, I personally didn't recognize it because I've never seen any maps of even the current world. Um, but based off what he showed us, can I see like similarities? Mm. Roll. Let's roll an investigation. How about, would it be better if I was able to process whether there are similarities between what he's telling me and what's in my databanks? Well, the, the reason I'm doing it is because this is going to help me describe it to you. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you already fully described it to me. Yeah. 11 but for You did that already, though. Feel it didn't Felix describe it? Because yeah, you did try to make a correspond. You yeah, you tried to make a correspondence between. But this is maybe more information, so. Yeah. Uh, I want you both to roll an investigation check, actually, because you're both now have the information. Well, so. th they didn't. They didn't describe it to me. They just asked if my map had, uh, like, five islands. That's what they asked me. Uh, well, Felix no. told Felix did say that the map that he saw was the world before the cataclysm. Yeah, because right, he understood okay. what it was. But that's still not described to yeah, me. Like, I don't know true. what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. So. Okay, so Darius, then uh, you're the one with both pieces of information. Yeah, I rolled the second anyway. Um, okay, so you don't really see a, a correspondence no. with your knowledge between the two. Okay, so I basically I I just describe it. You know, I say it was a lush world. Um, I describe it to the best that I saw it. I don't know how much of it I saw either because I know I went catatonic for a period of time as well. You still seen everything. You still seen everything. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, I just described everything I saw. The lush okay. world, five dots. People and started appearing around the dots. Now, Felix said this looked like it was a map before the the cataclysm? I mean, he would know better than me. Again, I haven't seen any maps, so... I... What? Do you know what the cataclysm is? I assume. Do I know? I... Not more than anybody else. Uh, everything in the kind of the prologue and stuff that you guys received is all. Yeah, so I, like I know that it made the islands, right? Like I don't know what caused it or anything, but I, I know the but world do currently. I, do I know any of this, though? What I know in my state? You don't. You only know what right. you've seen during your. Okay, last so I'll just yeah. explain like what I just said, right? Like okay. it's it's what made the world in the state that it's in. Um, and I believe that's what made magic go away. Uh, and that's really all I know. I don't really know anything more beyond that. Hmm. So you don't actually really know a lot. <sighs> Apparently neither do you, so don't get oh. cheeky. I don't. I, I, I know very little, actually. It's part of my quest right now is to understand. See, my whole thing is I know a little about a lot of things. Oh, okay. See, I knew a little about the cataclysm. <laughs> that is fair. I will I will make a note that you look no very little. But, about a lot. But a lot. Right. Okay. Uh well thank you for that description. I will process that and um I will get back to you if I discover anything worth of note. Very but good. Do you want me to tell you or would you rather keep your knowledge to a minimum to continue this crusade knowing a little about of a lot? I'm happy to learn more, Dick. <laughs> uh, okay, Atlas, there you're an investigation. Noted. Pardon? You can roll an investigation now that he's kind of described the info to you. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cast guidance on myself. Sure. Um, thank God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is I'll going give on? you an inspiration as well, even though I'm pissed off at you. Okay, I don't know what what's I'm rolling right now. Did that roll? Yeah, you rolled a one. Oh, it's showing a six on my screen. Was that for your? <laughs> Wait, was that for your your? I didn't even click anything. I just I I think I fat fingered it. So oh, uh, yeah, yeah, just roll again. Way to get out of a net one. No shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that, is it a wow. net one? Oh yeah. yeah. I'll take a picture and put it right in the chat. It shows six on my screen right now. <laughs> just roll again. Just roll again. Well, it pasted in the chat though. DM the DM said, said you, yeah, the DM said you could roll again. Roll <laughs> I know, again. I know, I know. Just saying. Uh, Not lying, guys. And then I go for... 1D6. What's an inspiration? 1d6. And then I get a plus a four. 
Four. Okay, so that's four. What do I got? Fifteen plus my and it was what was it? Sorry, In investigation? investigation. Yeah, eighteen total. Okay. Uh, after analyzing it and kind of in your head, you're able to, unlike the others, kind of compound this information and layer it uh, in your mind above each other, almost physically. Um, so you're able to match it up, and you do confirm the the pre cataclysm uh, that was the pre cataclysm map broken up from what you currently have of the current world. Okay. So oh, sorry. So it is that was. That sorry, was, say that again. <laughs> that was the pre cataclysm map that was uh, shown in the uh, the event that happened in in the room a few minutes ago. Uh, okay. Okay, and then I have the current world. Correct. My database. Okay, and okay, and then I have basically both maps in my mind in my database right now. Yep. Okay. All right, and I'm going to project the map onto the wall, just for Darius to confirm. Okay. All right. So all that's happening. Um. So, uh, Jack and Gunner, please hold on. Where is Reen, uh, Reen's behind. Okay, um, so as uh, as you catapult this with great force, this rock, right, your your aim is excellent, right through that kind of uh, section of rocks that had come out, and although not very forceful, does have enough to push through. And now you can just see kind of blackness on the other side. Um, after he finishes his catapult shot, Jack's gonna reach down and like grab his gauntlet. He's gonna kind of twist his hand a little bit and go, how did you fit all this into one thing? He's like, I can only fit. And he's gonna flex the crossbow out and then his little grapple. He's like, I can only fit one on each. Oh, I mean, I could talk for hours about how he did that. So much experimentation, so many different things, so many magical artifacts that I had to inspect and then practice replicating, plus all the different mechanisms that you had to fit in, plus it had to be lightweight enough to be able to carry around. you got to find the right alley to be able to do that, because if it's too heavy, then it's not really very wieldy, and it's really not very useful for all the different things that you want it to do. But the problem is that I can't even fit everything I want it to do in for the same day, so I kind of just put the things that I want for that day to be in there. Certain things are always in there. Anyway, we can get into it later, but I want to know what's going on behind this wall. So as you're explaining this, you can both now hear this, this, this kind of stone scratching even louder and you you start to he you start to hear a faint almost sounds like mumble start to come through this 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 wall you hello <laughs> felix's reaction is to say hello jack's going to just turn like he had his um gauntlet up and he's going to point it in that direction and the crossbow is going to expand and uh, he's going to let Felix continue talking to the uh, whatever is out there. Uh, I'll walk towards the, the darkness. Okay. I have so, dark vision. Can I see anything? So as you take a few steps forwards, you actually start to see um, this thick, it almost looks like fog, but it's like a, a green, almost red color starts to seep out of the hole and it's starting to spread forwards. Uh, Jack and Felix, uh, if you want to both roll a constitution saving throw, please. Reen was not there yet, so Reen, you can move Reen back. Okay. 14. I was just getting ready. Let me slide Reen back. You said a con save? Yeah. I get a plus two. Ooh, five. Five. Okay. So as this starts to come out, Felix, you, you see it a little bit before Jack, and, and you start to back up as this absolute wrenched stench starts to fill your nostrils. You, you back up just enough to get yourself out of where this, this gas is right now. Jack, uh, you, you, you feel this fill your nostrils, and whatever this is, it, it makes your muscles almost convulse, and you're paralyzed in that spot right now. Oh, lovely. And the gas is slowly seeping out. Into the room? Yeah. Uh, that's not good. Jack? 
Uh, Felix will grab Jack and try to uh, drag him back. I don't think I can move right now. Roll a strength check. I shout across the room. It's almost like someone warned you it was dangerous. Oh, I need the other armor so bad. Six. Six. Okay, you try to pull him back. Um, roll a strength check for Reen, Jack, because Reen would instinctively try to pull you out. If Reed goes in, doesn't he need a constitution save? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, he doesn't. She. She. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's Hold on. I need to like remember where I pull up her stat block here. Uh, dang, she's got a good strength. I gotta use the roll d20. Oh wait, no, I can just roll right here. I figure everything out. Okay, why don't you use roll d20? I don't understand. Because <laughs> I'm uh, an elitist. He's to be funny uh, hold on. A D in it. <laughs> I rolled a 13. Hold on, let me see what my strength is again. Okay. Uh, 16. 16. Okay. So between you and between Reen, her, and Felix, um, both pulling. You managed to pull you guys back about this far. Um, as you see now, the, the, the gas kind of stopping at the entrance to that kind of hallway and has stayed there for a few seconds as you're pulling Jack back. Jack, um, if you want to make another constitution saving throw, please. I would love to. Oh my goodness. One second, I just backed out of my character sheet. All good. A sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So you, you, whatever this was, this, this gas, it started to leave you a bit now, and you feel your strength start to, to kind of regain it, gain into your muscles, and you start to feel yourself be able to move again. So as you get yourself oh. kind of up from being dragged, you guys now start to see the. Uh, the wall where you made that hole, you kind of start to see it move and shift a little. You see the rocks kind of start to rumble a little bit, and then and the mud kind of almost start to be pushed out. Little flakes of mud starting to fall out from the wall. Uh, I, I uh, Darius. Uh huh. I think we've got a bit of a problem from the wall you over don't here. Don't stay. So this has taken about maybe 20 seconds. Darius and Atlas, what are you guys doing while well, there's... So here. I'm going to cast a message since I am I am familiar with uh, Dorhan. I am yep. going to cast a message on him. Is it, Well, first, before I... Oh, no, you know what? I'll do it and you can tell me if it fails. It's a cantrip anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if he's within 120 feet of me, um, and it doesn't matter, I can pass through stone. So like if he's directly yep. above me... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm basically just going to be like, uh, and I'm going to say his name right because I don't want to risk pissing him <laughs> off. So I'm going to be like, uh, Dorhan, uh, it's your favorite bard. Any chance you could hop down this ladder? I saw you like Hulk jump towards someone. I'm sure you can make the leap down here. He can respond to me. Okay. You don't get any response. That's ah, shit. Okay. I'm going to run up the ladder. He's dead. <laughs> so. An atlas? I'm going to uh, just kind of hang back. I'm still, like, kind of processing my, my thoughts, so I'm kind of a little bit distracted. Okay. Uh, Jack is just going to put his hand up, and he's going to aim between the rocks, and he's just going to fire a bolt. Okay. Roll for attack. Seventeen. Okay, and roll for damage. Eleven. Okay. Oh, now we have to. So, Felix, you see, uh, Jack reach out with his gauntlet and shoot a bolt right in. You see, your in all years, <laughs> and you start to see these red glowing eyes come towards the hole in the wall. And you start to see fingers come up and push down the mud and the bricks. And 
this wall starts to come down quite easily. And now you see these red glowing eyes and you see another two red glowing eyes and another and another and another. And you start to see moving towards you and falling forwards out of this gap. You start to see these undead group of beings falling over themselves as they come out of this gap in the wall. You see three more, two more, three more. You, you count maybe 12 of them now, all pouring out of this hole, making this grotesque sound. And just eyes everywhere. And as you look closer, where they're lying on the ground, you see now that it isn't five. These zombies have been melded together. And they're trying to rush and get up, but they they don't work together. Their legs are everywhere. Their arms, they're wobbling side by side. And you see about 15 zombies in a pile right in front of you at the end of the hall. Halfway up the ladder, I'm going to shout back, you guys need to get out of there now. They're not going to be able to come up this ladder. And... Jack's going to look to Felix go, shall we go? Uh, it might not be a bad idea. Start backing up. Okay. Jack and, so, and Green are also going to start backing up. Okay. Don't. It, it, okay. Right there. That's good enough. <laughs> you uh, got to roll for initiative. And we'll take a break there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. <Kick five. laughs> yeah, well, don't move, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was, I come back and everybody is like on the beach again. <laughs> yes, yeah, we're we're back upstairs. We're safe. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's scary in there. <laughs> All right, yeah, I gotta go pee. I'll be back in five. Yeah, I do too. I have a plan for this. Mm. I will share it when we're back live again. Oh, but of course. Copy. Mm. I'll leave up the zombies so everybody can see what you guys are up against. So creepy. Okay, I'll be back. VRB, throw some kick ass waiting me room music on. I forgot about music all night.
chat, chat, who's in chat? Let me take a look. Hey, Jack, what's going on? Finch was in there as well as Doug. Hello, people. It's Groot's cousin. <laughs> Atlas is the annoying claptrap of the group. Aw, so sad. So much conversation, not enough exploration. Oh, Jack. What's good, everyone? Hey, what's up, pro? Good to see you, dude. Dino Nuggies for life. Yeah, let's go. Boo intermissions. A, B, C. One, two, and me. Have a have a You're my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I'm all alone without you. Having fun being in a single conversation here. Hey, man. It's all good? It's all good? Oh, a couple of people my are picture, on YouTube. We don't use it. My yet. picture's not showing up. There. Yeah, what's up? Uh... Like when I mute myself, it's not showing up on the stream. Uh, let's see. Well, right now you're not on the stream. Right now it's just me. <clears throat> Thanks for watching over on YouTube, guys. Jack Nara number one. Yeah, get out of here. Jack Nara number one. <laughs> hey, that's my buddy Mason. He he took his time <laughs> to stop in and say hi. Well, tell your buddy Mason to get his head straight. Ouch. Jack Nara number one. We're loving it so far. Awesome. Glad you're liking it, Jack. I know that you were saying like your dad's huge D and D, so that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's boy. the music. Yeah, I popped it on uh, when Corey finally reminded me. I'm terrible for putting music on it. It's alright. You gotta get like. I thought that would require a lot of management, but like when we go into combat, have combat music. And <laughs> I know, I know. This is. Like what third time using <laughs> or even oh, yeah, no, I, different... I, I, totally yeah, there's I was so joking. much you could do with it right like even brian even showed me like you can have it auto play when you go to a certain map when i didn't even set that up <laughs> yeah uh my other campaign he's got that set up yeah that way when you switch over you don't even need to think about it. it just does it yep it's it's a little jarring because like it just hard switches the song so like it'll be in the middle of a song loop that you're so used to <laughs> And then it just pick. <laughs> it's like Skyrim battle music. We go into a map, and it's just like dun dun dun. We're like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> They're on us. Almost dropped my water all over the place. I really wanted water last night, and I didn't want to go out to my truck and get a bottle, so I bought water before I came here tonight. Good plan. Yep, I just get it from my tap. <laughs> so are these things like when you described them there was like a ton of them but they're all morphed together and there's only two of these things i uh, know you've seen like 12 sets of eyes so far and they're still pouring out we can take this we can but you, we can do this easy don't don't be a hero <laughs> jack don't be a hero all i see is xp <laughs> yeah, we'll still get XP. What, that's, how, that's how I was in, in Baldur's Gate. I would like talk to somebody and they'd sass me, and I'm like, you're just XP, bro. <laughs> I wiped this whole area out. Especially if you're playing as the Dark Urge, then it's even easier. <laughs> All right, let's see. Apparently, my audio was too high, then it was too low. Let's see if it's right better now. Someone in your chat asked a really Honey, good question. Honey, is it better? What is the question? Relay it to me. I don't have the chat up. So how do these guys level up? <laughs> uh, milestone. Milestone is the superior leveling up. It's only superior because it's less to track. What? No. No. I was... Uh, 
yeah i had some ideas about that but i'm not gonna go off too off board i'm just gonna yeah keep it the way it is <laughs> i was like you know what would be cool if i did this i'm like okay dial it back first time dm dial it back a little <laughs> yeah <laughs> Let's make up a whole new leveling system for this one shot. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, right. So we all back and play? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 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 I believe so. All right, let me turn the music down a little bit. Can That'll anyone hear me music. crunching or am I good? Oh, yeah, I think you're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cue Minecraft eating sounds. I'll do it in, I'll do it in robot. <laughs> All right, so bringing it back in. The... What were we gonna say? I'll say Atlas accidentally chewed on his little uh, plant buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so bringing it back in. So right now, um, as you guys were investigating the uh, underneath the chapel, in the somewhat sort of temple, um, this wall has been broken down. It is now pretty much fully broken. Um, there's only crumblings at the side and the outsides where these zombie after zombie after zombie has been pushing through. You guys see about, uh, Jack, your closest. You can see probably close to about 20 bodies right now. Um, about 10 or 15 of them kind of like are piled on the floor. They've just come sweeping out of this thing and just almost piled up on top of each other. Um, you can see the gas that you were trying to avoid is still kind of at the bridge of that opening. Um, but it just looks like you can't really see that far behind because it's blackness. There's literally no light back there, but you do you see more glowing eyes behind them. And everybody Love. roll initiative. Do I have to? Because, I mean, I should there be upstairs by now, no? <laughs> so, What's going on over there? Darius, yes, still roll initiative for me, please. I'll explain in a minute. Of course. I get a natural Ooh, 20 17. on an initiative roll. can't investigate anything but i know how to fight when i'm running away no. <laughs> all right so let me what? do the turn order for once 21 okay uh, let's see hold on i gotta figure this turn order stuff out so you're 21? Mm -hmm. If they click their token and roll it, initiative, it should automatically put it in the order for them. Yeah, it does, good. yeah. I, I wasn't clicking my token because I'm a dummy. But yeah. then I was like, that's not a big deal because he didn't use turn order last time. Yeah. You can still do it again and then just change your initiative number. Yeah, it's fine. Is that only if you've connected like your character sheet through oh. roll 20? Well, I think yeah, you have yeah, to be that, on roll 20. Everything has it. to be done through roll 20. Yeah. Dang, everyone still rolls higher than me, and I rolled a 17. No, no, no. I rolled a 9. I was just doing what uh, was suggested. I'm only a 9. Jack rolled a 17. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> Basically useless. Sorry, Jack, what did you roll? Sorry. A 17. Okay, and your guys' pets just go with you. Okay, so basically, as these zombies are kind of piling out, uh, Atlas moved forward a little bit, and we had Darius started booking it up the uh, up the ladders. Darius, as you look up and you start climbing, there is blackness up there. You cannot see the opening that was there. You don't see it anymore. You only see blackness above you. What? And That's it, the I still want to go up and touch it. If you want to use your 30 feet of, well, it'd yeah, be 15 yeah. feet because it's basically rough terrain trying to climb up. So you yeah, want to use, fine. okay. So you go up about 15 feet. Okay. And then touch it. Is it solid? You're not even close to the top. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, you went down like about 50 to 60 feet. It was about 50 feet is what you were kind of like gauging dashing. when you came down. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll use my action then to dash up. Okay. All right, so you get about 25 halfway feet. Up. Yeah, about halfway up. That's fine. 
That will be my turn. Alrighty. Okay, Atlas, you're up. Uh, we just kind of like look at Darius run away. Just kind of shocked by that. It's quite shocked. You don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna move kind of closer. I still don't really understand what's going on, so I'm gonna probably move up to about here and just kind of yell out like, "Is everyone okay? They don't they don't look too healthy." Do you need assistance? And I'm just going to ready. Uh... He going first. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't go first. I went first. <laughs> you can hold an action if you want. Yeah. Well, I have to say what action I'm holding, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Based on this, whatever sequence you're waiting for to happen, and then what you want to do when that sequence happens. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm going to I'm going to hold my action for my rocket hand mm -hmm. and uh just wait to see if they're if they're hostile after basically knowing what happened last time I was friendly with random things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um if I see any sort of like hostile action, I'm going to shoot my rocket hand over for an attack. Okay, sounds good. You're learning. Mm -hmm. Processing. Processing right. combat situation. Perfect. It is Jack up next. Um, Jack isn't going to wait around. He isn't used to seeing mutilated bodies walk towards him that groan and let out poisonous gas, so he is just going to um, blast again in the face. Okay, which which cluster? The one to the the north or the south? Uh, to the north. North, okay. Roll to hit. And Twenty-one. Okay, roll for damage. Okay. Uh, nine points of piercing damage, and um, as he lets the bolt go, uh. You'll see, I forget what I did. Did I say Reen? I think I said Reen. Though Jack will let out a uh, Reen, and you'll see a bolt of lightning shoot out uh, from behind him. Okay. And that'll be three points of lightning damage. Okay, so what's the total? Three and your... Uh, Twelve. Okay. So, do you guys see... Jack does his crossbow thing, starts flying out. Rain right over his, just leans right over his shoulder and shoots right behind. And it, it travels so fast, it catches up with the bolt. The bolt almost looks to enlarge in size and embed itself right into the joining part of these five zombies. And it sinks in. They just start starting to move slowly. And then they just explode and splatter against the wall and the other zombies beside it. No. Okay. Any other actions for you, Jack? Um, Jack is going to use some of his movement, and he's going to get beside Reen. Okay. And um, as a bonus action, Jack will tell Reen to uh, shoot some lightning at that uh, other one. Okay. Um. Which she cannot do apparently, so I'm just she's gonna run up and bite it. Yeah, she only has a bite. I was waiting to see what was. Going. Yeah, and I was, I was like, I know you get the breath attack later. Right. Um, so Reen's just gonna charge it, and she's just gonna go up to uh, one of the zombies, like that is hanging off, and she's just gonna grab its arm and uh, bite into it and try to rip it off. Okay. Roll attack. Uh, 15 to hit. Okay, and roll damage. Seven points of piercing damage. Okay, so 
Azreen rushes forwards and takes a bite off the leg, rips the zombie apart. The zombie falls, and they just, they, they just, this cluster just slightly moving, slowing down, and just stops moving. Uh, and as that happens, Reen starts coughing, and Constitution saving throw for Reen. Copy. Should have thought of that. Oh, she's built different. 19. <laughs> okay. So Reen understands that coming in, this gas starting to seep in, shakes her head really quick and uh, manages to shake off uh, any effects from the this, this absolutely horribly smelling gas. Excellent. And um, Reen is going to risk it for the biscuit. Jack's going to whistle for her, and she's going to jump back in front of Felix. Okay. Okay. Easily done. Anything else for your turn? That will be it for Jack and Reed. Okay. Cool. Felix, you're up, sir. There's no <clears throat> there's nothing left. We killed we killed them all. <laughs> right now you see them you see you can see through the wall. You can see like fifteen eyes coming towards. Okay, so there's still more coming through the wall. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Felix is going to, uh, move up then and, uh, um, I'll give you a better visual. Sorry. I should really have done that. Yeah. No worries. Okay. So there's a, so there's still a bunch coming. So, Ooh, there's that one's fancy, crazy stuff coming at us. Uh, okay. Um, Felix, uh, starts moving into position and he reaches down to, uh, his belt and he pulls off kind of like a small uh, little orb and uh, tosses it and uh, cast Grease. Nice. Uh, so the small orb hits the ground and explodes and covers uh, an area there with uh, with Grease. So uh, it's a uh, 10 foot square. So this area here is difficult terrain. And any creature that enters it has to do a deck saving throw or fall prone. Okay, perfect. Uh, and and uh, so that's my action. And I'll move up uh, and take defensive position here. And I will command Gunner to move on the other side. And uh, we'll stand ready for anything that's coming at us. And that is my turn. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, hold on. The uh, cluster of zombies will be going next. It is not Darius. <laughs> okay. Because I just selected one. <coughs> Damn it, they were supposed to go before. It's all good. I messed up the initiative. You can just say what they did. They had to move anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just do it. it. Yeah. Um, so the zombies start to fall out, and now moving into completely oblivious to uh, this uh, greasy goo all over the floor. They know no better. And they start moving forwards. And I'm trying to grab this stupid guy, which I can't for some reason. the heck is he on the right layer yeah on the gm layer and i can't move the guy that is put there okay anyways so the uh the really disgusting looking guy let me just refresh here this is not gonna work for me you dm suck <laughs> shit. <laughs> Felix experiences deja vu as he realizes something has changed in the Matrix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. This is All right. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you bleeped the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what <laughs> what NTSC rating you're going with. 
All uh, right. I, I blame the engineer. <laughs> hey, let's go. Boo, engineer. All right. That's a little better. All right. So uh, we have this kind of horde of zombies moving through from this broken wall. And what's the saving throw on the grease, Ryan? Uh, you Dex. Hand? Dex. Dex, DC 13. All righty. They're not very dexterous, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't imagine they're very anything. Okay, so not twenty. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, two twenty is amazing. This, so this cluster of zombies trying to move towards Felix, as they just seen that was the last action taken towards them. They do what they look like; they're almost trying to run, but all these ten legs that are almost attached together can't find their footing. And so they slip on this grease and they slide sideways and three of them crack their head against the wall and those oh, three heads that one. are completely limp. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, okay. And then, so this guy. And... He's going to go in there. Uh, so this guy moving forward, he is going to, he's going to try and sprint across this grease. He has no clue what it is. Oh, fuck's sake. And he completely, his, the, the two legs that he actually does have start to do the splits and he slips down and does a little twirl and he looks like he's breakdancing on the floor. Um, <laughs> the other two sets of zombies behind, they try to move up and they are all clustered now uh all in a pile right by this doorway and that's going to be it for their turn sorry okay, so is that sorry go ahead um and also i need felix and gunner to do a constitution saving throw uh okay. even it affects constructs my goodness that's it that's a good question let me check hold on shouldn't it's poison based. Uh, no, no, I guess not. It's just creatures. He's a creature, but Gunner's immune to poison damage and okay. poison condition. He's good then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good to know. Uh, 16 for Felix. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, no problems. You resist the. Uh, the intense stench that's uh, filling up your nostrils right now. And go ahead, Darius. Dash and climb, so, and then I want to check if it's solid. Oh, sorry, Atlas, what? Well, I had readied in action, but because we've skipped, like, the initiative order, I'm assuming they would have attacked. What's the range this... on your... Is it 30? 30 feet, yeah. 5, 10, 15, 30. So you wouldn't have been in range anyway. To to shoot my well i can still okay that's 30 feet is it not yeah but they're they're technically 35 feet yeah they're like a no thing. but what i'm saying is they they are now okay my my point was we skipped the order so now that there were there's shit all over the ground that probably oh. wouldn't have been there yeah before. i see what you're saying right yeah they would have moved forwards and then yeah okay so why don't we why, why don't we let you take a turn now just to make up for that so like you can move do a movement like do a turn because yeah we totally skipped that there could have been a, a whole bunch of zombies there that you could have yeah done something so with. what yeah. would i have considered that by what they've done like they're hostile then like would that have initiated my action just what i've seen now I think so. Like the aggression, especially coming from the bigger guy, like rushing towards. Yeah, you would have definitely seen that as hostile. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to shoot my rocket hand out. And do, do you have a token for that yet? You, you mentioned oh. you were going to do one. Yeah, I do actually. Hold on. Did you say these guys fell prone? Uh, just the one set. Yeah. They're all, yeah. The two things that we see are both prone. They're both prone, yeah. So the, those would be, would that be all attacks with advantage now? No. Well, not for you because they're range attacks. Range attacks get disadvantage. Correct. Um, okay, control. Chapel. Oh, you don't need both of these. Hold on. GM layer. Just one for now. 
But yes, all normal uh, melee attacks are at advantage, but you would have to step into the grease to do it. Tokens. Okay. Let me give you control as well. Yeah, you do have control already. Okay, perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to shoot it. Can I, so I can get to here, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to shoot it in front of Felix. Deploying hand to assist. That's it. Okay. You really for attack? Can I reach that? Like, is that? Yeah, you're occupying that five foot space. So okay. yeah, we'll account right. that as you can attack. Yeah. Okay. Does that? I don't want to do this. I'm sorry. Does it float or does it stand? Float. I, know, float. I was just gonna ask the okay. same question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it floats. <laughs> it's a stabby mage hand. <laughs> It's, it's it's actually spiritual weapon is what it is. Okay, that's what I was wondering. I was trying to ask that last time, but it wasn't really clear. I just wanted to know like, what exactly it was. I like the flavor, but I was just curious like what. Yeah, yeah, spiritual weapon. Okay. And then the other one is Mage Hand, like my other um, hand. Uh, where is this here? Sorry, I'm under the wrong thing here. Uh, uh, so that's, yeah, that's 23 to hit. Okay, that hits. Roll for damage. Okay, 1d8 plus 3. See, I didn't even click anything there. <laughs> Come on. And it's not even the right one. 10. 10 damage on that. Okay. I didn't, did that roll again? What is going on? Is someone else clicking the, my... No. Dice? My dice is like rolling around on the screen. Yeah, I see the dice rolling around the screen, but it's not going into chat. Like, yeah. The first you can't even see your character chat. sheet, so. Just I'm like confused. the nat one that you've got out. <laughs> yeah, 10 points of damage. Okay. Excellent. And that'll be, uh, that's slashing damage. Okay. If that makes a difference. That works. Okay. Oh, it does. They're immune to slashing. <laughs> <laughs> Super weak to piercing, though. Thought that's what it was. <laughs> Well, I can switch. <laughs> so yeah, you see the the hand of Atlas just kind of uh, come apart. The rocket boosters flies on over, and you see it just swipe downwards. Very uncharacteristic of Atlas, um, slashing into these zombies and doing uh, some really good damage. Uh, you see them now; they're kind of wobbling, really, really hurt, um, looking pretty, pretty bad. All right. Um, anything else for you, Atlas? Are we? No, that's that's fine. Thank you. Okay, uh, Darius, dash and climb, and then feel if it's solid. Okay, so as you get to the top, you do reach the top this time, and you do feel that it's solid. Okay, that's it. I'll slide down on my next turn. Okay, <laughs> it's a bonus action. I let go. <laughs> <laughs> you can if you want. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not taking 66 damage. Thank you. <laughs> um, so Atlas, we're back around to you. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna yell out to Felix. Felix, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It stinks over here, though. Should should I keep slashing at them? I'm really I, I'm new to this. Yeah, but I feel like it, oh, okay. I feel better now. For a second there, <laughs> my eyes were playing tricks on me. But yes, we should keep attacking them. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Uh, I'm gonna switch to uh, stabbing action and roll for attack. Okay, to the the, the one you hit last time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a twenty-one. Okay, that hits. Uh, eight. Uh, for eight damage. Okay. Piercing damage. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> So the hand just like kind of flips over and uh, switches into like, like a basically like a stabbing motion and just starts like stabbing them really fast. So I don't like this. <laughs> so they start stabbing really fast and it systematically goes to each head 
You see it just one at a time going through each of the five zombie heads as they just take it. Their face is now complete mulch and they just crumble to the ground. Can I do like a quick scan? Like, just like, do I ascertain that these aren't living? Uh, yeah, yeah. Roll a medicine check. Okay. I just, for self-assurance. Yep. <laughs> I get it. Uh, yeah, 24. Yeah, you can tell that these things should not be moving. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, everyone. They are not alive. Technically. <laughs> they're dead. Now they're dead dead, but they're still dead prior to being dead dead. Just keep killing or not killing. I don't understand. <laughs> Carry on. All right. So, uh, Jack, you're up. Um, so the, the one on the right is still there. Like it didn't disappear. The one on the right. Um, there was a pile underneath, the like there was a pile prone and a pile on top and he killed the pile on top. So there's right now there's a cluster of zombies, uh, and a really ugly looking one right underneath. Uh, Jack is going to let loose a bolt on the guy at the south. Okay. He's prone, right? He is, so you roll at disadvantage. Big sad. Um, yeah. That's fine. If you want to run up and smack him, you'll get advantage, but, you know, just slam. It's yeah, all right. I'm, slip I'm not trying to bait you at all. <laughs> Dexterity saving uh, throw. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is a 12 with disadvantage. Oh, just hits. I'll take that. And eight points of damage. And again, when he fires the bolt, um, Reen. And Reen is going to react instantly, launching another three points of lightning damage. Okay, so 11. All right, so this thing's trying to get up, trying to find its footing. It's slipping around, uh, and Jack's bolt coming in, charged by uh, Reen's lightning bolt coming out. Uh, just takes him in the shoulder, kind of pushes him back a little bit, and you see this lightning almost continue to ripple up and down the right arm of this horrific beast. And as a bonus action, instead of telling Reen to run in and bite something, I am going to use a uh, hail of thorns, uh, which is the next time I hit a creature with a ranged weapon before the spell ends, this creature or the spell creates a rain of thorns that sprout from your ranged weapon or ammunition um, in a, uh, in addition to the normal effect attack, the target uh, with, Things within five feet must make a dex saving throw. A creature takes 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save. 1d10 on a failed. Okay. So um, I'll be able to utilize that on my next attack. And Sounds that will be good. Jack's turn. All right. On to Mr. Felix. I think you're muted, Felix. Sorry. There's just yeah. the group that's prone straight ahead and then the weird thing uh, the left of that that's also prone. Yeah, well as, as you're looking, the you can start to see there's still they're still moving. You can see two more batches behind them from where Okay, you are. standing up? Okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. uh All right. Uh so I've got my uh, light hammer in hand and I'll take a look at the one that's standing tall uh, straight ahead of me. Uh, so the second one uh, that I can see uh, and uh, I'm going to throw my hammer at it. Make a ranged attack. Sounds good. 18 to hit. That hits. Roll for damage. Uh, eight bludgeoning. And when um, Felix's hammer hits, uh, Jack's going to yell Reen and she's going to use her reaction to shoot lightning into his uh, hammer. 
All right, roll the one d six. My phone freaking locks up so quickly. And I'll give you a max six points of lightning Ooh. damage on that. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So, as you guys see, Felix, his hammer, he takes aim. You see him close one eye. He wants to make sure he gets this hit. He tosses it with all his strength. And as you see the hammer twirling towards his target, the bull coming in from rain, lighting this up like Mjolnir, just smacks the center point of the zombies and they instantaneously erupt in gore intestines flesh splattering all over the inside of this whatever darkness there is as the uh, as the zombies die you see felix with his hand out uh, a, a bracelet that's around the base of his gauntlet glows and the hammer uh glows in response and stops midair and flies back to uh into felix's hand Ooh, love it <laughs> Straight and, up, uh, <laughs> and uh, that'll be Felix's turn. Uh, Gunner's just gonna stay poised, uh, ready in case anything comes in uh, in range, and okay. that, uh, that's it. Okay, perfect. All right, so this uh, horrifying creature uh, stands up. <laughs> And as he stands up, you get a better, a bit of a, a kind of a better look at this thing, and you can see now where this this uh, noxious gas is coming from. Is this rupture in its stomach, uh, and the gas is just leaking out. Um, as it stands up, it gets ready. You can see the look in its eyes of anger and hatred and twisted just frustration of the situation. He reaches forward. He goes to dash towards Gunner and immediately slips and falls flat on his face and is now prone again. It's only uh, end of the turn. Entering the first time or ending turn. Oh, ending he turn. Okay, so he does get to move over then. Yeah, he gets to move. To Gunner. So he does charge a Gunner. <laughs> then he will fall on his face. So he can, yeah. if he wants, yeah, if he wants to make an attack or whatever, he can. Yeah. It's only it. So yeah. he's okay. gonna take a What's swipe. What's movement? You could move it out of the grease. No, he's 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 there. He wants to eat anything that's close. <laughs> right. um, so he's gonna take a bite towards Gunner. Sixteen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that hits. Yeah, yeah. Fifteen's the AC. That's eight damage. Piercing. It matters. Okay. Ooh. It's for some pretty serious damage. Okay. And then I need Felix, Jack, uh, to roll a constitution saving throw. 14. Okay. Perfect. Jack also wrote a 14. Okay, great. So you guys now sort of a, your body almost adjusting to this this noxious gas, um, just kind of shaking it off and, and staying ready for the next onslaught of attacks. Um, so the zombies start to try and move up. Um, the top group of zombies is going to take a swing at this floating hand. They look very confused as what the hell is going on, but they take a swipe at it. When I get their character sheet back up, there we go. 10. Uh, I don't know. What is it? <laughs> uh, hold on. It is. I mean, I feel like there is no. What are they, what are they trying to attack weapon? the spiritual weapon? Yeah. Uh, in 5e, spiritual weapon is not attackable, unlike it is in BG3. Oh. It's not actually a, a creature. Oh, so you can pass, I can pass through it then. So I just dodge really good. Yeah. It's not <laughs> a targetable unit. Games. Okay. Damn, my camera got all messed up. But they could still swipe at it. <laughs> 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 
Uh, well, lesson learned. They don't know that. They take a swipe. Do you see this thing attacking them? They take a swipe at it, and nothing happens. Um, and then they move up, and then we'll uh, not fall over. Do they get? A, do I get an attack of opportunity? Uh, they're occupying the same space as your your spiritual weapon right now. They didn't move out of it. The one there's one underneath you. So, but, but trying to attack it couldn't, so kind of moves into its space. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the one behind can't reach. Uh, he's going to end his turn in there. Which is going to be... He's going to be prone. <laughs> uh, stupid grease. You can put a... If you right-click on a unit, there's... And yeah, click the I'm looking for the up. prone one. Uh, yeah, I just pick one. That's there's one where there's like somebody that looks like he's having back pain or something. <laughs> All right, we'll just use this. Yeah, because he is actually prone. All right, and yeah. then these zombies, these guys are going to move up into this space, and they are going to. They're not going to go prone. And they're going to wait there. Okay, and that's the zombie's turn. And Darius, you're up. And actually, it's back pain, too. Uh, I'm going to slide down the ladder. Similar okay. to how I came down. Okay. You can choose how that goes. You, it's bonus action's fine. All right, cool. Does that use up all my movement, then? Uh, No, we'll let it literally just be a bonus action. You can still move an action. Okay, cool. Uh, one, two, three. With your phenomenal dexterity. <laughs> I think I actually have decent dex. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just moved a bit closer. Got down the ladder. Oh, I'm just going to shout out to everyone. Uh, guys, we're sealed in here, and I can't reach Dorhan. Okay. Great news. <laughs> that means Doron is safe. He's <laughs> more concerned about us, but okay. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I won't let anything happen to you. Or, I mean, if something happens to you, I will be sure to help. Okay, is that your turn, Darius? Yep. All right, Mr. Alice. Yes. That would be me. Um, I'm going to move up. And, um, yeah, probably about here, actually. And I'm just going to ask Jack. Hey, Jack, are you, are you doing okay over here? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Just, uh, keep, keep swinging. Right, yo. And I'm just going to start stabbing the thing next to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, four. That is a nine to hit. Nine to hit. Nine does not hit. Oh, wait. He's prone. You get advantage. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. oh. That is a nat 20. 25. Let's go. Nice. Roll for damage. Okay. That crit. That crit. How do you do your crits? Double the rolled dice? Double the so, rolled dice, yeah. Yeah, okay. So five. So uh, plus three. Five, six, eight. So 16. 16. Okay. Just measly roll 16. Okay. So my hand just starts like starts to glow and it's just like it's powering up. Ooh, I've not seen it do this before. And it just like starts stabbing at twice the speed, almost like in a flurry. <laughs> the thing just explodes into yeah. dust. <laughs> As this flurry is coming in and out, you just see this 
the the uh, intestines, this black blood just squirting out behind it. Every time this uh, this stab happens, and you see the group mm. of zombies behind just getting splattered with all this black goo, um, oh. and it just continues to, to to crumple into the ground as Atlas continues to just keep stabbing it. I can't, I can't stop it. It's uh, I don't. It's malfunctioning. It, sorry, everyone. If, if you're getting all that goop on you, it's okay. I think it's stopping now. <laughs> all right, all right, easy. Right. And then you have a bonus action if you want to use it. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna move it over. Actually, no, it's gonna stay there. I'm just gonna turn it around, and it's gonna flip the scalpel kind of into itself, and it's just gonna start like trying to wipe the goop that might have splattered onto Felix. <laughs> oh, so sorry, Felix. Uh, just, I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> nice. It. I like it. <laughs> All right, perfect. Jack, Wait, sorry, what was your what was your action? I thought you attacked with the spiritual weapon. Yeah, I didn't really have an action. That that oh, okay. the attack is technically the bonus action, but it's fine. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Um, you said I'm next. Yeah. All right. Um, so because Felix is, um. A gnome, I can be in the same space as him, right? Yeah. Um, you can move through my space. You can't occupy the same space unless you have a feature that lets you do that. Gotcha. Um, I just can I can I like I can I move in and then back out of it because I it just says within five feet of the target I hit. So so I mean, it, I guess it may not hit him. Can I just shoot my shot and then the rain of thorn or the hail of thorns won't affect him or Gunner? Um, if you shoot the okay. bottom left pack, then it wouldn't affect. Well, yeah, because it wouldn't. I guess it says weapon. it says the attack, the target I attack. So I, I would still, it's because it says um, the target of the attack and each creature within five feet of it. So I guess he would be. Um, yeah, he, spiritual weapon doesn't get affected so, anyway, so you're good. So I'll just I'll target the uh, this one. Because okay. it'll affect all the ones in the surrounding area except Felix and Gunner. So, um, at disadvantage, I am. Do what? It's prone, so you have disadvantage. I ain't worried about disadvantage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good heavens. Okay, no, I'm fine. Uh, seven plus seven, 14 to hit. Okay, yeah, that hits. Okay. Um, switching to this so everyone in the area has to make a deck save okay as we've established <laughs> okay so 18 and 10 cool well and one's 10. already prone but yeah yeah 18 10 okay so one moment sweet just rolled max damage so for my normal attack um I'm also going to have Reen uh, assist me. So Jack's going to let loose the bolt, yell for Reen. Um, so 11 points of piercing damage from my bolt. And then four points of lightning damage from uh, Reen. And then Hail of Thorns is eight damage so whoever um succeeded the save only takes four damage okay and uh all right good and enough. then um yeah and and then um that will be it for jack he's not going to give a um a bonus action command okay um how long does the grease last Seems like a an long hour. time yeah. Yeah. Uh, Forever. Oh, uh, one minute actually. So one minute. okay, ten turns. Okay. Yeah. So we're still good. All right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so Jack, let's turn. Felix. Uh, okay. Sorry. Is there still one underneath the spiritual weapon? There is. Is it standing <laughs> or prone? It's standing. Okay. I will. Uh, I will make a melee attack against that with uh with my hammer. So, uh, Felix takes a swing at it 
and I will attack, and it is uh, 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 12 to hit. That hits. <laughs> awesome. Uh, eight bludgeoning again. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so swing swing the hammer right at it and smack it for eight bludgeoning. Okay. Perfect. Lodges into one of its heads. One of the heads just pops open. And for the other heads, just look at the one that's just exploded and then uh -huh. look back towards uh, Felix again. All right. Uh, so Felix will stand uh, at the ready in case it attacks him back. And for my bonus action, I will command uh, Gunner to repair himself. Dang, that's cool. Uh, so he repairs for 12, goes back to full HP. Awesome. And that is my turn. All right, perfect. So, so as this battle keeps going, you see the uh, that the, the gas, the the thing that was causing everybody to have these issues with these muzzle, muscle muscle uh, uh, spasms retract, and they kind of just dissipate. So that area is now clear of gas. Um, the ones on in front of Felix is going to take a swing. And that is uh, nine. Wah, wah. <laughs> so the shamble of zombies, they, they cannot coordinate being attached with the way their bodies are. They're trying to swing and get this attack in, but it's literally just flaving. It looks like a wacky inflatable tube man. Just arms <laughs> flying everywhere. Completely misses. Um, and then the ones at the back are going to move up and take a swing at Gunner. 19. He just repaired himself. Yeah. What a jerk. So 19 hit, I'm assuming. Yep, 15 armor class. Okay. Let's see. So going to bite Gunner. Oh my god. Two damage. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. Gunner! And he's immune to poison, so nothing else. <laughs> 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 um, okay. So, on to Darius. Uh, deck save for both those guys. Oh, yeah, and turn. Good call, DM. 13... And six. Okay, so the ones down below are prune. Bam. Okay, Darius, over to you. That's oh, it. hey, Darius. <laughs> Where have you been this whole time? Look at these things. Did you not hear me shout? We're, we're trapped down here. I was trying to get Dorhan to help us with the fight, but the, the statue... Whatever we did to open it, it ended. Oh, well, don't worry. We got this well under control. I can see that. And that's my turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest turn Here's ever. Up. Nobody needs healing, and I only have melee attacks right now. <laughs> mm. All right. So you can't uh, viciously <laughs> mock them? You don't have that? Uh, I don't think I have it yet. Um, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to... Um, red... A... I'm just going to stab it with my... Yeah, I don't really have a... Okay. I have nothing else to do here. You know what? Um, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going <laughs> to stab it. <laughs> Roll attack. I said, just start asking it questions. It might want to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, eleven. I should have taken. Eleven hits. Oh, okay. Uh, so my hand, kind of after brushing off Felix, kind of switches over to stabbing action again, and then just immediately turns around and starts stabbing again for. Um, nine points of damage. Okay, that's the one that you, it occupies the same space as you, right? 
Pardon? The one that's on the same space as you? Like your... Oh. Your hand, um, that one? Actually, or to be fair, below. I was at... Did I move? Did you move me? Uh, no. Because I was you, originally... Here. You did move his thing to show the thing was under you. But... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't... I didn't so I am you. actually supposed to be here. Yeah, so I'll do the one that's occupying my space then. Okay. And so how much damage? Nine points of damage. Okay. So, uh, yeah, as it's still kind of focused on um, on Felix, wondering where its fifth head went, uh, you repeatedly stab it, and the stabbing motion is almost surgical. Um, kind of curious how these things are made. You slowly mm -hmm. cut and dissect separations between all five and then they just look at each other and then slowly just fall apart in five separate bodies perfect all right anything else for your turn i hope that helps <laughs> <laughs> no all right jack Um, so there's only one group cluster left? Yeah, and they're on the floor. Nice. You like imposing disadvantage on me. I do. <laughs> it's all Felix, man. I did nothing. Felix destroyed one day, it. <laughs> one day I'm going to have the crossbow expert feat, and I will never have disadvantage. <laughs> We're um, never hitting level four. <laughs> right? Never. <laughs> Um, let me roll 2d20s here. <laughs> he gets the feet and then loses both of his eyes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is that is a 5 on the die, so that'll put me back at 12 to hit. 12 to hit, that hits. Yeah, it sucks too, because I've critted twice, but I've had disadvantage. <laughs> so so it's like really depressing. <laughs> Um, 1d8 plus 3. Uh, I'm so confused. Oh, never mind. I was like, how did I just roll a 9 on a d8? Um, <laughs> 9 points of damage in total. Uh, Jack is going to uh, yell for Reen, and Reen is going to assist by slapping a bolt of lightning on there. Okay. For a whopping one point of lightning damage. Okay. How much damage from your regular attack? Uh, nine. So ten nine. damage in total. Okay. How do you want to do this? Hey. Um, Jack is just <laughs> going to lift his hand up and it's kind of go between Gunner and uh, Felix. And he's going to get a little close and he's going to aim for just like one of the heads right between the eyes and just blast it. All right, perfect. The bull connects right between the eyes and it looks like it doesn't affect for a second and all of a sudden you kind of see it twitch and shake and then <laughs> pops like a balloon and the rest of the bodies just fall to the ground. Nice Thank job, you. guys. Hey. I know I was so awesome in that Probably fight. It was all the healer. <laughs> <laughs> So as things no, settle was, down, there's a mass of bodies kind of piled up on this grease pile, um, covering up all the grease. Um, but you can now see that this wall is completely being caved through. Um, looking through, you see no more eyes shining through, but it is complete darkness. You, you, you can't see anything uh, really beyond where this wall is right now. Uh, I would just take a moment to regroup. What do you guys want to do? Well, I mean, this is the only way we're getting out of here, so I say we start heading down this path. Is, is everyone okay? Oh, sounds gonna... good to me. Let's go. Is everyone okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, Gunner's got uh, a little bit of damage, but I'll fix him uh, up no problem. And uh, Felix puts away his, his hammer and retracts his shield and takes out his tools and casts Mending to repair Gunner. I'll reach Jack's going to kind of pat Felix on the back and go, good job. And then he's so, going to whistle for Reen and he's going to go to the, uh, like the entrance of the, where the wall was broke down. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna recall my hand. And he's gonna, gonna hide back the tree. in, and I'm just gonna. <clears throat> and any anyone else? Uh, you need of care? Um, physical, emotional. Anybody? We all, we all good here. We've seen we've seen some graphic violence. Um, that partly thanks to my myself, which a little embarrassed about that. Um. Yes. Any anyone need to talk talk about it? No. Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Felix finishes up uh, repairing uh, a gunner and says, uh, "No, I, I'm all good. Uh, but." Yeah, let's see what's back here. Oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, I'm just uh, uh, holler her away if you need me. I'll be back here. I don't need to talk about it either. Jack's going to relight his uh, torch. Okay. Jack's going to relight his torch, and he's going to kind of try to lead the way. Okay. So Atlas is hanging back, and the rest are moving forwards? Yeah, I will, like, I'll move with them, but just... Just at the back? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you can position yourself, guys, in your marching order, where you guys want to be moving into this uh, tunnel. Uh, Felix definitely want to take the lead, for sure. Yeah, and I'll stand here so Gunner can be behind Felix. I, I picture Felix just, like, uh, just walking past Jack as he was trying to lead the group with his torch, and you just yeah. are like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Okay. Felix does like an excited, like, you know, you know, when you're like a uh, kid's like walking beside you and they're just, they're walking fast to keep up with your normal mm -hmm. walking speed because they're so excited about what's going on. Yeah, that's Felix. For sure. That All works. right. So, yeah, as you guys kind of ga gather yourselves, um, start moving forwards, cautiously kind of moving through this break in the wall, um, moving from this absolutely exquisite, beautiful room into this tunnel. Uh, it's it's pure dirt. There is no man-made structure within this. Um, the, as you look at the outside of this thing, you can see just claw marks, just handprints, claw marks. The whole thing, um, almost like this was entirely dug out uh, by these undead that you just fought. There seems to be no direction to it. Um, so as you head forwards, we will. Bring you into the next area, if I can do it all properly. Da, 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 da. I have to figure out how to attach these to players again. It's... <laughs> It's, it's so, so dark. dark. <laughs> well, it is it's very dark. <laughs> so yeah, as you're going down this uh, this tunnel, just kind of the light. A lot of you have, or all of you have, dark vision. Um, I think we all do. But luckily, because of the torch, you can get a sense of colors. It's not just black and white. So you guys see down this hallway, and you see at the end is. There's so many bones in, along the, the floor of this. Um, but again, no construction, just all dirt everywhere. Um, at the end is almost like a rock, uh, rock slide kind of thing. Like they're uh, like a cave in. So you see all this dirt, but then in front of it, you see kind of rocks filling it in. Uh, do you want to resize this to fit the squares on this map? So we know. Oh, yeah. Might make things a little bit easier, huh? Yeah, it makes it a little awkward. Huh? Yeah. Oh, Jack, what happened to you? <laughs> Boop. Did you use minimize on me? Boop. <laughs> My evasion rose sharply. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's kind of well lit now with the, the torch that you have um, going. Um, and you come up basically against a, a bunch of crumbled rocks, like a cave-in style. I like how the only one feels bigger than everybody. 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? How work world is this? Oh, Here you man. go. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah, okay, examine the uh, cave. Any openings? Uh, anything obvious? So it looks like loose rocks. Like, it's not one stone slab. Um, it just looks like a pile of rocks <laughs> that have almost been placed to uh, to block this. All, all the way up to the ceiling. Yeah, like, you don't see any clear gaps. Like, there's gaps because it's not a perfect melding of rocks, but it's, it's, it's like boulders. So you can see kind of like there's gaps in amongst them, but it's not straight through. You can't see to the other side. <laughs> uh, well, how, how big are the rocks? Mixture. Small rocks, big rocks, a complete mixture. Some the size of your head? <laughs> Some the size of your head. <laughs> uh, it's a lovely bunch of rocks. <laughs> so can we, I guess can, we start digging. Yeah, can we lift I them? Guess we better start digging. Yeah, sure. And uh, Felix and Gunner will start pulling rocks out of this pile. Okay. And Jack and Reen will also do that as well. We have got a lovely bunch of crumbled rocks. Diddly mm -hmm. diddly. Look at us. Just move them in a row. <laughs> Are you casting Bardic Inspiration? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Are there going to be rolls that we need to do? Because I will. <laughs> so, yeah. So as you guys are working towards this, it, it takes a good 20 minutes or so. Um, but as you start to move these boulders out of the way, you do get a, a slight glimpse into uh, a, a little gap between these where these rocks are moving. And so you do see a little bit more coming through. The gap is small, just enough to kind of like peek your eye through, just to get a uh, an eyesight into the next room. Like enough for like a gnome to squeeze through. It could be enough for a gnome to squeeze through. <laughs> One or two more boulders more. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, so I'm gonna keep working. As soon as there's enough of a gap mm -hmm. that Felix could potentially squeeze through it, he's gonna try to do so. Okay. So, okay, another couple of minutes, and you make enough room for Felix to squeeze through. So, Felix moves through the gap, and as you enter the room, only Felix. <laughs> so you get a better view of the room you're in. What do you see over there? And, uh... Sorry, go ahead. Hey, guys, it... well, go ahead and describe it. So as you go in, uh, you see ahead of you some, looks like, like rail tracks. You're immediately feel at home here. You, you, you recognize uh, the, these tracks from, from the mines. Um, the floor is scattered with bones. Uh, there's, there's rocks on the ground everywhere. As you look from where you came from and you look up, you can clearly see um, the, the, this, this explosion had happened from above uh, and where these rocks have, have fallen doesn't fit with the structure of the other walls. This was clearly uh, a cave in done on purpose. Um, but as you look out, you see some sort of strange looking metal thing, uh, to the south of the room. Um, and that's, that's what you can kind of gather from here. You see a track going from kind of south to north. Uh, and some random kind of rocks uh, across this kind of muddy, rocky ground. Uh, okay. Uh, Felix will shout back, uh, pretty much relay the, the description that you said, but uh, but he adds, uh, like, this is just like the mines that I used to work in back home. Cool. All right. Uh, just be careful. Check the area. Make sure there's no more of those creatures. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to go have a look. You guys, uh, Gunner will help you out. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm just going to keep moving rocks until we can fit through. Same. Okay, perfect. All right, so as you guys are moving this atlas, you're still kind of chilling in the back? Right. Okay. <laughs> you're not helping. He's just chilling. I'm pretty sure he has the highest strength in the group yeah, and he's not doing anything. <laughs> 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 Yes. Just let me know if you need assistance. Yeah, you want to help us move these rocks that we've been moving for the past, like, 30 minutes? 
Oh, absolutely. I'd be happy to. Thank you. <laughs> I move up and start moving rocks effortlessly. And very quickly. <laughs> just just shoveling them, just flicking them right over your head um yeah like the the amount of strength is actually surprising because i can lift it three times my body weight <laughs> so as felix moves into the center of the room you now get a, a full view um you can see that there's some sort of room um you kind of you, you've kind of seen this before what would be a check-in and check out of, of um the inventory coming to and from the mine um, looks like some sort of office, which is it looks to be closed. Uh, you can kind of see the windows on the front that are all barred up. Uh, you see an exit, kind of a wide opening to the north, where the rail track continues out to the north into the darkness, where you can't really see. And there seems to be two exits, one on either side of this uh, this kind of room. Uh, and again, this strange metal door type thing to to the southern end of this uh, kind of cave. Uh, you haven't really seen anything like this before. It looks like some sort of door, but it's got these metal mechanisms that you've never quite seen before. Yeah, how have you not been drawn to that? Isn't it like mechanical structure? Yeah. Is, isn't that like Felix's like drool yeah, so, stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so Felix will go uh, and take a look at the, see what he can ascertain from this, this okay. mechanical uh, structure to the south. Okay, so roll an inspection check. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven? Okay. So the mechanics itself, you can't get too much of a beat on because it, it's this uh, flush, like even plate of metal it's hiding the mechanics behind it. All you can really see is this sort of cog on the top that would turn a wheel. But as you see it, it looks almost like the front of it has an, an open sort of portcullis, which is right raised right now. And then it looks like you can kind of step in and there's a, like a sheet metal plate door with no handle, no lock or anything. So it looks like a double door. With uh, one of them Felix open. will kind of tap the door a couple times, get a sense of the metal. Okay. Uh, and then he's going to pull out his hammer and he's going to hit it. <laughs> okay. So, okay. What are you guys doing while Felix is doing this? It's going to take a few minutes to inspect this. Have we cleared the rocks yet? So there is enough space now for you to move through one at a yeah. time if you wanted to, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go through. All right, yeah, enter in. And I'm just I, I, I'm just going to go over and investigate this room that I see over here. Okay. Because I don't know that he's already I'm going to keep that. clearing rocks because I've just, I didn't. <laughs> that was the command you were issued. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to continue clearing rocks. Okay. So uh, Gunner takes up position uh, up here and watches kind of these areas just defensively. Okay. okay. And so everybody's just moving about at kind of regular speed and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Not trying to be quiet or anything. Just checking. <laughs> so yeah, Felix Jack is not <laughs> being quiet. <though. laughs> so Felix, yeah. So Jack I... went to an area. Sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. Jack goes where where he is on the map. I'll say Jack's going to go over close to where Gunner was at because he believes that's where people would could come out of. Sure. And uh, Reen is also in the area. Okay, cool. Uh, Darius, I'm just going to move you out because the door's locked right there. Oh, is it locked? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, no, the map open. shows open. Yeah, it's clickable. I don't know how to do it. Uh, uh, so that's because like... I clicked it and screwed with it. <laughs> you so can lock them. I know. I just, I just haven't played it. around with it. Yeah. Um, so as you go, Felix, yeah, you feel this thing. You kind of feel it looks like plate metal steel, like really durable steel. And as you hit it with your hammer, just the, the vibrations, it just shakes your, your hand. It almost bounces right back. And you can tell just by your experience that this thing is thick. Like you, you feel no contact reverberations with the other side of the door. You can tell that this was built for nothing to get through. Huh. Yeah. Uh, and before we go further, how are you guys for time? Mm -hmm. Does anybody need to wrap it up now? Or do you guys want to inspect a little bit more? I'm going to try and open this door. I'm fine. 
I'll say as long as we're not up till midnight, I'll be okay. No, no. <laughs> I'm thinking like, I don't know, another 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah I'm fine with that. Normal time, yeah? Yeah, 15, 20 minutes would be fine for me. Okay. All right. Let's keep going then. Cool. Um, okay. So, Atlas, just want to check. Do you want to move in? Are you still clearing rocks? Just to make sure I go in a cycle here. Still clearing rocks. All right. Cool. Can you roll a perception check for me? Mm-hmm. You notice that the rocks you're clearing are rocky. <laughs> the super rocky. I noticed that I'm alone. <laughs> um, rocky road. Perception. Uh, 17. Okay. Out of the corner of your eye, you see on the ground um, that Filber has hopped out and is pushing the tiny little pebbles away from the rocks, trying to help you pull the, the rocks away. Okay. Jack. <laughs> uh, thank just... you. Thank you, little buddy. Uh, just don't hurt yourself. Be very gentle. He's pushing like a tiny, tiny little pebble with all of his might. Um, I think I have to refresh the video. Is that going to mess up the stream? No, it's fine. Go ahead. Um, okay, perfect. So Felix is like that. So now we go over to Darius. So yeah, as you approach, you see this kind of room from the outside. Uh, the windows are kind of locked. It's kind of like almost like you would picture kind of a merchant salesman to be able to like open up from inside, right? And you can reach out, hand things back and forth. Uh, but the door you've approached is locked. It's pretty tattered. Um, it's got breaks down the side. Um, it, yeah, it looks like an old battered door, but it is locked. Oh, hold on. I think yes. I got I to gotta unmute you. Sorry. <laughs> Say it <Yep>. again. <laughs> I forgot yet. Get muted. Okay. Back so th that was to me, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I missed a portion of it, but I got the gist when oh, you said it's... it's an old battered door. Yeah. Uh, so I have a crowbar in my bag. I'm going to okay. try and just like crank the door open. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Roll a strength check on it. Oh, come on. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you don't bust the door open, but the wood's pretty brittle and you do break one of the panels of the door, um, which causes the whole thing to just fall inwards. Right, sweet. <laughs> is pretty yeah, brittle. So yeah, as you enter, hey, you see. What's that? I was just saying casual raid. If you want to say hi. Oh. Oh, uh, casual. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. We're here every Tuesday night, 7:30 p.m. EST. Um. So Darius, as you enter the room, <laughs> on your left you see a desk. Uh, straight ahead you see like. A rack with kind of like general tools, pickaxes, hammers, nothing fancy. Um, and uh, then you see sort of like a, as I say, what would kind of almost like a merchant board where they'd be serving customers with a shelf there. Okay. Uh, on the desk, are there any drawers or anything that I can search through? Uh, yeah, there's some drawers. Yeah, if you want to roll an investigation, you can check them out. Mm -hmm. 22 for investigation. Okay, excellent. You're very investigative. <laughs> uh, okay, so as you go through the desk, um, you find it looks like different communications between the foreman and uh, another foreman of like another mine. You can't really piece it together, but it's kind of just conversations about what's being moved back and forth. Um, what 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 the production requirements are you know what they should be receiving what's going out um and as you pull out the drawer one of the drawers you see underneath this is uh it's an envelope that's a little bit more it's not as weathered uh and torn as the rest of the papers that are in the desk okay i want to take the envelope and open it okay you open the envelope to see what I'm about to let you see. One second here. It's coupons for Arby's. Let's go. Oh, oh I can go for Arby's. Arby's yeah. Uh, let me just take this off. Put this on. Okay. <clears throat> 
Okay, so that is the letter. If you want to take a moment to peruse it. Uh, so while he's reading that letter, going through that, uh, anybody want to do anything specific? Uh, Felix is going to try and move the, the, like, interact with anything he can, if he can move this, this gear wheel or anything. Any, okay. Anything on here. Yeah, so as you look at it, it's the gear that's exposed at the top seems to be just that it couldn't be enclosed with everything else. You don't see anything that looks like a handle or a maneuver. Anything that you can maneuver that would activate the machinery here. Um, it, it looks, from all you can tell, it looks almost like a one-way door. There doesn't seem to be anything that can that can activate this that you can see from from walking entirety around the, the mechanics of it all. Okay. Um, I'll uh, move away from that and have a look uh, out, away from that. Is there anything else of note outside of the room that Darius is in in this area? Um, no, just scatterings of bones. You don't see anything that really kind of catches your eye. Uh, you just see the, okay. the, the tracks leading out towards that southerly, southwesterly room. Uh, but yeah, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, yeah, I'll start moving towards the room that Darius is in then. Okay. Is Darius still reading? Yeah, I'm a very slow reader, so keep going. It's all good. Okay, um, <laughs> want to check in Atlas and Jack. You guys want to do anything specific? How much, um, uh, like, is there still a lot of rocks left? I guess. There, the rocks now are basically, it's it's very minimal. It's pretty much just along the sides. There's a huge pathway now, and two rocks, almost looking like a cool little arch that's been formed on either side of the, the tunnel. Okay. I'm going to, like, dust my hands off and be like, All right. Job well done. What's next? And I, like, reach my hand out and have, like, my little buddy uh, climb up onto... Uh, onto me and get on my shoulder. Okay, perfect. Um, I'll move into the room, just like slowly move into the room, kind of taking a look around. Okay, so as you go in, if you can roll a perception check for me, please. Sure. I'm so distracted. Five. Five? Okay. Cool. You come in, you see a big room and some stuff in it. Ooh, <laughs> stuff! Look at it all. Mm, rocks and dirt and... Oh! Darius! What are you doing? Oh, uh, just... I found this, this letter. It seems like there's some lord that was demanding... The people who owned or ran this mine to continuously mine ore for him. And initially it was for trade, but then he just started threatening them, stating that if they didn't continue to provide the materials, that he would react in violence. Oh. Well, that's boring. Felix, what do you see? What are you doing? Ah, uh, I tried to take a look at that structure over there, uh, but I don't know. There's a Really thick door. I couldn't find any way to get through it, so I was just I curious to see what, what Darius had found. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think the crowbar's, crowbar is going to work. There doesn't seem to be any point of ingress through that, that door over there. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, I just want to, is there anything else in the room that's searchable, like anything in the, the desk that you mentioned or anything else? Uh, there's the chest. Okay, yeah, so I want to search that too. Okay. So as you open up the chest, uh, where is the letter? Did you are you keeping it? You put yeah, it I'd like to keep it. Actually, can you send it back to me so I can copy the text? It's in your, It should be in your journal. Oh, okay, perfect. Then I don't need to copy the text. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep the letter. Okay. So, yeah, you go over and open up the chest. Uh, inside, after it's a, a mimic. Fire... <laughs> <laughs> after a fireball hits you in the face. <laughs> Roll um, initiative. <laughs> so inside, you see... There is what looks like almost like a bird cage uh, and bones of like a bird in there um, and a necklace around it that has kind of like a strange, strange crystal. And then right beside it, 
is um, another necklace. It looks like it matches it, and it has a similar crystal, but it it's it's engraved a little bit different than the one that, that is in the cage with the uh, the bird. What dolls. is it engraved with? It just looks like a little symbol. The symbol's not really. You don't really roll an arcana check. Nine. Okay, you don't really recognize the symbol. It just looks like a cool symbol. Okay. Um, um, go over. How would he got there? And I pull both of them out. Are they one of the many things you know little about? <laughs> yeah. I so, will admit that I don't know anything about them. Felix, do you know what these are? Oh, well, let me have a look. I, hand I want them over. to uh, inspect them. Perfect. So Felix, as soon as you grab them, you you do know what these uh these crystals are. And I'm going to let you know right now. As you recall your memory. If you did want to share it, I can go over it for you. Uh, uh I mean, yeah, Felix will Felix doesn't keep the information. Yeah, he doesn't keep okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So these are these are called seeker stones. Uh, they're used by like this uh, really high skill skilled dwarven masons. Um, and what they would do is these crafted amulets. They would put one on a uh, an animal uh, that they had highly trained, and then the uh, handler would keep the other. And what they would do is they would send it down into the mines, uh, whether it be a rescue mission or whether it be a scouting mission. Uh, and the animal that had the, uh, the one around its neck would be able to hear the commands of the master, uh, and the master looking at his, uh, amulet would be able to see a visual display of what was being seen. So it was basically used for kind of scouting out, uh, deep mines. Um, uh, yeah, that's the gist. That's all I, uh, Daria says to Felix. Um... You may want to hold on to those. You could put one of those on Gunner. Uh, yeah, potentially. Uh, I'm not sure if they would actually work with, with his construction. Uh, it might be better served for Jack. I'm not sure. Or Philbert. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Atlas. I don't really think that that's such a good idea. Oh, okay. Oh, well, why not? I feel like. Gilbert would be a great fit, and it would really bring out his eye. Ah, uh, well, one of the key things about the use of these seeker stones was always that we put them on really highly trained animals, and um, I don't know that that Philbert really qualifies. What? That. I don't Gilbert. want to play the devil's advocate because I don't trust that thing, but it actually has listened to everything he has told it to do. Gilbert, do a flip. <laughs> Gilbert comes out on your shoulder. He he somehow smiles with his eye it up crips a little bit and then he does a little flip and he lands it like like a fucking boss <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, okay yeah i'm just gonna go talk to jack yeah go give it to jack and again didn't want to play the devil's right. advocate but it does listen to him on the flip side we still don't know if that is going to grow into a murderous monster and he hears he hears him say flip side and it does another flip <laughs> No, no, no. You don't listen to him. You know, only me. Oh, he seemed to listen to me, too. I'm organic, though. You're not, so I'm going to keep my distance. Okay. <laughs> and Darius is dead. He's like, <laughs> 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 a tiny plant. Uh, hey, Jack, Jack, uh, we found these. Um, I was thinking they could be really useful for you and Rain. Uh, you give one to her, uh, and then you can actually speak telepathically to one another and see what she sees, what she's scouting ahead for us. Or we give it to Philbert. <laughs> yeah, and, I really uh, think that you should take these before Atlas does. You, One of the few times you see Jack not give out like a, a quick uh, command or demand at Reen, he's just going to be like Reen and he's going to wave like this and she's just going to like trot up casually. Okay. And uh be like, so let's see if it fits. And uh, she's gonna, he's gonna like do this and she'll sit and like spin around and wait and kind of gesture to uh, Felix if he wants to see if it fits her. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll try uh, fastening it to uh, Tureen. 
Okay. Yeah, easy enough. Slips on easy enough. And, and here, uh, Jack, yeah. another one's for you. And he's going to take it. Thank you, sir. And he's going to see how it works. And he's going to point at Reen and just point down the uh, hallway to our... How do I get this to go away? The rock clearance? <laughs> uh, she's near this spot over here. Or she's going to go this way is where I'm going to... Okay, sure. Yeah. All right. So, and, as you uh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, and he's just going to like point and she's going to take off. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah, she moves over there. As you look down at the, uh, the crystal, as you look closely, you can see a 180 of where the crystal's hanging right, right in the front of her. Uh, you can see it broadcasting a 180. Um, and you notice that it is black and white. So, you're kind of guessing that it, it, it has dark vision enabled with it because it would be able to be used in, in deep mines with no light. So you can see mm. about 60 feet in a 180 with the on the crystal. Well, I'll be. This will make scouting so much easier back home. And if you can both, Felix and uh, Jack, if you can both roll a perception check, please. A solid eight. <laughs> See if my phone loads it. I think I get a plus four. I'll just roll on here since it's taken forever. Is this window locked, Colin? I don't know what window you're clicking on. Oh, the it's, only window. Um, it's actually barred up. Okay. There's uh, wood across it. Uh, 18 on perception for Jack. Okay. So yeah, as you're looking at this crystal out of the corner of your eye, um, you see these kind of like deep scratches uh, on the side of the wall uh, to your right. Um, and as you look up, you see like these these webs in the corner, that part of the corner of the room. So Darius, Webs. yeah, like a spider, like a large spider web. Love it. Yeah, it looks abnormally large, though. It doesn't look like anything like anything we've ever seen. Uh, Darius, what are you up to in the room? I just I want to call Felix back in the room. Okay. So I do that. <laughs> Felix, I'll come out and like. Yeah, there we go. Hey, so. Uh... About that bag. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been so go, go, go. I haven't really had time to to have a look at it. I was hoping you, at some point we would could rest. Could you look at it now? You looked at that necklace in like a split second. Well, I knew exactly what that necklace was. Uh, we used to use them all the time. Okay. I feel like we're going to be in danger again in like no time at all. This might be the best time for you to do it. Uh, sure, I, I can have some time inspecting it, I guess. It's going to take like 10 minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'm just going to sit like pacing. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Atlas, um, what are you up to right now? Kind of hanging out. Okay. Okay. I'm going to uh, just kind of be like playing with my my little buddy and like teaching him new things to do. <laughs> okay. Just, like go pick up that rock pebble and stuff like that. Okay. All right. So as this is all happening, um, Gunner, uh, Atlas, you see Gunner prick up his ears. And start to kind of like turn his body uh, towards the rock pathway that you just came through. He looks Where alert. He doesn't doesn't look like he's sensing danger, but he looks alert. And if you want to roll a perception check yourself, uh, sixteen. Sorry, that's wrong. Hold on. Uh, fourteen. 
14. Okay. All right. So you, you hear you hear a faint noise coming through the tunnel. Quite faint, but you, you can hear something. Gunner's obviously picked up on something, but it, it's not quite clear or loud enough for you to really pick up what it is. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pull my uh, Filbert up onto my shoulder and kind of instruct him to get in my mouth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's very quickly, quickly <laughs> becoming like my, his like safe space. Let's go to you. And then I'm just gonna um, kind of slowly walk over. Okay. The question is, how many legs does it sound like it has? <laughs> Hello. So as you're approaching, um. As you get about maybe 15 feet away, you can hear something louder now. You can hear boom, 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 boom. Sounds like something starting to run real fast down this hallway. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm just going to turn around like nonchalant to the everyone in the room. Be like, hey, you guys hear that sound of something sounds like it's running directly for me. And then as you yell this, you feel yourself be shoved forwards onto the ground, and you hear, <laughs> Get down, little one! And you see as the horn, cloaked with two swords, jumps out, lands on both legs with his swords out. Where are they? I'm ready! The horn! Welcome! And we'll, and we'll leave it there. <laughs> both legs? What? Both legs, two swords! I have to, did you get my message? And then regenerate a leg? <laughs> I guess you'll have to find actually, out. The horn's a half orc, right? His other half is actually. Uh, <laughs> his other half is leg, and it just rejoins. His other half is is iguana or yeah, gecko. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Great session, guys. Well, uh, a little bit very later. good session, but I'm dying. I, I want a long rest and change my infusion so bad. <laughs> we, These guys just oh, keep pushing what? forwards, man. They just keep pushing forwards. Well, I was going to suggest having a long rest here. Yeah. I well, we got all of the rest. bonuses of a long rest a little bit ago. Yeah. Well, not, well yeah, yeah, but the thing is, like, I need to Weird, actually right? have the time to, to tinker and change my infusions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Felix is going to have to voice himself a little bit more, probably, <laughs> in that mm -hmm. regards, anyway. We're going to keep running in this magic stuff that's like, oh, you get a long rest for free, and you guys feel so rejuvenated. Uh, like, well, what? I, I'll yeah, well, never oh. stop. Yeah, I mean, out of character, not DM. I mean, <laughs> you got to think that that's not going to happen. <laughs> if that happened, it's there's a reason it happened. It's not just, yeah, I feel bad for these guys. Let's throw them a long rest. I will never yeah. do that. Just it's so like know. finding the safe point after you've yeah. been traveling a while. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's a boss coming. And yeah. a room full of ammo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got all your resources you need. Oh, this is... <laughs> What a pleasant surprise. This game's <laughs> awesome. It gives me everything I need for no reason at all. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so oversupplied. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, back next week, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Sounds good. Good right. session. You. See you guys. All right. See Thanks, everybody. Guys. See you next Bye. time. Later. Have a good night. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye. All right, guys. Watching the stream. Thank you so much. Or watching the recorded video. Um, Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I hope you are enjoying the D&D &D streams. We're enjoying doing them. I'm um, having a lot of fun as DM. So, and if you have any feedback, positive, negative, no problem. I'll throw it in the comments. Uh, I'll be sure to read them. We get all the notifications on YouTube. So if you're going to leave a comment, pop on over there, Trick TV streams and put it there just in case you are watching this on Twitch or anything. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, we stream gaming streams. Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. EST, we do some games. And then our every other Tuesday evening is our D&D. &D. So join us any of those times. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night.